happening. So I think my levels are good. I've started the recording. So welcome to session 18. We are starting by building Crenshaw because as I've stated, I have come up with nothing for what he looks like. So we're building him out. And I believe we're on light brown hair, right? Is that what we're going with? Something like I this. I think so. We can At least we can okay. start with that. And now I think for decals, I'm wondering if I can make a Widow's Peak from like face tattoos. If not, it might be difficult to get that. Really not have is it, any. Is it not a? It's not a hair option. I. It might be. I was just gonna look for a decal first because I figured that okay. might be something that shows up. But I guess we'll just have to go to hair. I and think figure I did see out. one. This is just this is short hair. If it's something like I this, I can stand up here. That is a widow's peak, right? That is widowy. Yeah. Yeah, he's very unmarried. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that short hair is that acceptable? Sure. I don't know. I was kind of thinking like, yeah, stringy, pulled back almost. You know, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the weird, like weird butler kind of look. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's Roger's hair, so he can't have that. Hey, you can't be German. He can't be German. You can. This. It's got like a man bun though. Kind of weird. Yeah. A little too powerful. Yeah, for him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, third left, fourth from the top left. That one. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Dude, come on! You can't do my man cringe all like that. <laughs> Yo, oh no, no, no! Right, we gotta find pull back widow's peak. Is Crenshaw the type that can't accept that he has hair loss? Maybe. This is <laughs> yeah. Do they have hair. comb overs? <laughs> nah, they have like weird edgy hair. All these buns, bowl cut, dude. Ugh. That, oh, he could rock a bowl cut. Alternatively, the bowl cut. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You want this? <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the top middle? Top middle, this. That's pretty standard, pretty basic. No widow's peak. But, uh, nah, that's that's way too decent yeah, and human like for Crenshaw. Too normal. Way too human so for a want, Crenshaw. We want the bowl cut, or we want the short hair with the actual widow's peak. What like about the, the what about the balding? Do you really want the balding? No, no, uh, you just passed it. The, it? Uh, right to the left. Oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> that makes him look way older than he is. I do have an age for him. He is like late 20s. No. Wait, oh, no, no, no. I call it a day. Oh, this yeah, him with the bowl cut. If he's 20s, bowl he cut. probably isn't balding yeah. yet. Yeah. Let's do the bowl, the bowl cut, yeah. Gosh, this guy looks like a loser. Poor, poor guy. All right, I think but that's it. Any he has like there? a mm -hmm. he has like a determination to him though that I feel like we got that get, self preservation uh, is in the bowl cut. Oh yeah, I feel like he's still too meaty. Too meaty. <laughs> yeah, can we like? <laughs> You want to like, gun him up? <laughs> anorexia, like, him, like I feel like he's yeah, skinny like, but I muscular. I can make him less muscular. This is like no muscularity. Oh, that's, oh, no, that's it. That's, no, what, that's what we're that's talking about. Race, no curves. No butt. Nothing. That's it. That's okay. that's Crenshaw. <laughs> Pretty like weak for being in the in the military. I feel like he has to have a little bit of muscle. I feel like he has to have some, or else they would not have picked him. Yeah, like he does have to have a certain level of fitness. That's like way too much. Oh, no, 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 no. But like, that's like super sad. All right, fair a little, enough. A little fit. A little fit. I'll concede that. Okay. Are there any other physical qualities he should have, or should we move on to wardrobe? Mm. I think it might be. Uh, I think it might be. Can you have longer arms, though? Like, he's awkward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, oh, no. He looks like no. a cryptid. But yeah, you can have like. Oh my god, what? Long. It's creepy looking, dude. <laughs> Turn that down a little bit. I'll just, I'll just, yeah. just put that side into like like point two five or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just because you see it happening. That's what's <laughs> throwing us off, man. Those Wait, you can make bad. one longer than the other? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Left B. Oh, that's for if you have more more than one arm. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Dude. dude, that's a bit of a yikes. <laughs> what happened here? This is like this is like for bugbears. Like bugbear arms are like this long. But no, yeah. no human should have arms that long. <laughs> right, I think I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it at that. Shall we move on to wardrobe? 
Fair. I think let's. All right, we'll start with the shirt. What are we thinking? Because he, he's in common clothes. Yeah, right? he's got commoner's clothes now because he's not wearing his uniform anymore. So. Crop top. Crop top. <laughs> no, um. Complete bikini. I don't know. The, uh. Maybe like the priest garb in the top right. Like robes of order. These aren't bad. These are workable. Any other recommendations? For yeah, I was either going to say the boot like... farmer. <laughs> yeah, this that craps. The, the seashells. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. All right, so if we go robes of the order. Go away, honey. Do we have anything above or uh, over that? Think. What it, he's he's a warrior, right? Or is he a priest? He's a soldier. So no, but class, he, he ditched just... his uniform. Yes, he ditched his uniform. What he still has is a spear that is used as a casting element. Which actually, that that is for me to add. See if I can find one. That... It's for me to add and you to see. These are all kind of. All my missions require me to do like a dungeon, so I can't do any of these right now. <laughs> Cause I can't just quit that when we start. That thing is massive. Yeah, it's a partisan. I mean, here's here's your big I mean like thick. Uh, yeah, that's because Hero Forge. Because it yeah. has to be big in order to not be like flimsy as a rail. Yeah. Actually I could make the oh, that is <laughs> all, all of right. these people here. This is Wait, how big is that spear? Pretty big. Dang. Can it be shrunk? No. Or like it cannot. Okay. I could put it, it on his be. back. Should I put it on his back? He's not like carrying it. Sure. Or maybe like leaned up against him. I can do that. Ground. I can do that as well. I think. We go to pose here, get him out of the default pose as well. But I'm gonna have to figure out how this man carries himself. But that's something where the spear's out of the way for now. Do we have anything over the robes of order? Because I can put I can put like stuff over it. A couple things. Mm. Maybe maybe something like I don't know, does he have armor or anything? Um, I don't think he had chain. I'm trying to remember what the soldiers have. I think they just had leather. To be honest, leather or gambeson. I don't. I almost. I'm almost certain that they didn't have. And they may. Yeah, he might have had something like this. Yeah, that might work. Little little thing, because he could like take that off of his uniform. In fact, that's probably what it is. It's probably a a leather vest, and a, a little chain neck guard. So if we assume that he removed the nest but kept the chain neck guard, he could he could walk around like this. I think I think that makes. All right, what about pants? Pants are pretty basic, unless we go crazy mode. Oh, those are dramatic. Yeah, he really looks way more capable than I thought he was now. I mean, yeah, he's not hes not a nobody. No, it's true. So what, uh, what pants? Just, like, simple pants? Can you give him skinny jeans? I mean, these basically Distract are that. Jeans. They're pretty damn close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to leave it at that, that is like a really simple piece of commoner's clothes. Or you could go like ninja, a kung fu monk. And you can boots with the fur. Honestly, I can. With the fur, I can. Honestly. I can do boots with the fur. I. The whole club looking at her. I give him hide boots. The Honestly? second ones. These. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You know what? That's not what I meant. But yeah, you know what? <laughs> okay. All right. Because. For reference, uh, the Lucine guys definitely do not wear these boots. So, but guess what? Uh, these hold boots... on, come on, dude. He's from the north. That's why he's so pale. No, you know, no, no. He, he he's used to having like warm feet, and now he's got to like you know supplement that. These boots are actually worn by Coruscant uh, guards. I'm like ninety percent sure. If we save this and look at the outfit of yeah, Coruscant pikemen. That's the boots. Oh my god! I could I could copy 
literally the color of these boots that <laughs> lets me. Because I think this might be custom. I he just no yoinked a, a guard's boots. I mean, it would more so be the idea that you guys were in Chorus Gare. They might have given you supplies and a couple pairs of warm boots. You know, you give it to him, like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's doable. I like that there. idea. The boots with the fur. So the biggest problem with doing this is... I don't know if I can copy them exactly, because it... I need like a pro subscription to not have to manually enter the hex values. And I tactically don't want to do that. So I will just <laughs> approximate because otherwise it'll take literally too much time. So we'll just go back to Crenshaw. I think it was actually old salt. That's what these were. Leather. Oh, no, it does. It looks like default colors. I didn't do anything custom. And standard black. So he's just wearing Corus Gear military boots. There you go. Uh, all right. What about before we move on to like robes, hoods, or extra stuff? What about colors for all this? The chain mail is actually locked in because this is the metal. Blue is very specific, and I'm actually adjust it manually. Actually, that kind of that kind of works. That looks good. All right, color palette is yours now. What do we got? Uh, spaghetti yellow. <clears throat> yellow. Spaghetti yellow. Oh, well, I have fun sun cotton. Oh, oh, like boy. what this? Like the, nah, the that's too much. Paler? Too much. Paler. Oh yeah, it can yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, like, like it won't look bad. The whole thing or just the bottom? We'll just start with it. Literally, you, you said color, so I came over the color without even thinking about it. So oh, I'll just there, do it all perfect. Yellow for now. Oh, what happened to John? <laughs> That's, it. That's all we needed. No. And the. Uh, no other colors? I was going to say the sash could maybe be different. Like uh, the upper color there? Possibly. Make it black. Give it to man. I don't know. Give me something. Okay. Yeah, give me something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he looks like Bruce Lee. That's because the pants. The pants have to be a different color, basically, or it will. <laughs> it's you know, something like that. I know you just slapped that on there, but that actually doesn't look too bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, like yeah. the brown, black, and the pale yellow. Now it's like a real pale, saturated yellow. Because the key is like you keep the creases pretty, oops, pretty dark. That's the mid. You keep the creases pretty dark. And then you make the mid color really bright, and then it looks like it's sun saturated. So it's just been in the weather a lot, like a commoner's garb. All right. Well, if we stick with this, then the only other thing we have to consider is hood, cloak, or other uh, accessories. You know, I gotta say though, like we're trying to like. Nah, that's that's stupid of me. I don't even know why I was thinking that. I was gonna say we're trying to like kind of like you know, uh, go under the radar and not be too noticeable but that's a complete lie uh, yeah this also was not what would draw attention to you <laughs> i know that's other... that's exactly why <laughs> yeah, there are other like you could put him in a clown outfit and he still won't be the first thing you look at <laughs> exactly my next character <laughs> <laughs> all right cloud start. outfit so i'm building off that idea <laughs> here's here's my proposition is my proposition is that he's he a has... juggler my proposition is that he has a basic hood of some sort mm -hmm. or something. Something okay. to, to hide the bowl cut. You know, anything, whatever it is. That's not fair. It kind of isn't. I, <laughs> I want the bowl cut to be visible, but I also want him to have a Give me a hat. Give me a hat, then. Okay, what hat could we have? The, the, the brimmed hat. The rancher <laughs> hat? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Oh, actually. no, it still covers the bowl cut, though. I, we gotta find like a farmer's hat. A Chinese hat. <laughs> the Chinese farmer hat. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Drip. <laughs> I need. We, we gotta find like a straw hat or something. Oh, the Manchurian. Uh, top left, top right. Oh yeah, the Mongolian helmet. Oh no. That's uh, that's pretty drippy. The farmer's hat is here, and the no, the that's that's good. making him a lot cooler than I think he should be. 
Yeah, just hit him with like a <laughs> cowboy hit him with a headband or some headband. Oh man, hold on. That's not. It's not even visible under the bowl cut. I mean, the bowl. The bowl oh, cut consumes oh, me. No. <laughs> I could give him a bandana. In the bowl it's cut not even consume. consume. All right, let's let's do this. Maybe maybe just a bandana. Okay. Under the bowl cut. I think that works actually. That's pretty. Cool. Bandana under the bowl cut. I'll give him a little undershirt. What is it even doing then? Okay. <laughs> it's. I don't know, man. Maybe it keeps the hair. It's keeping the hair out of his exactly, eyes. Exactly. Exactly. All right. <laughs> The only other thing, I want him to have a cloak. So that's where we gotta go. What back back items? Something like maybe not like. I this. figure, yeah, it would probably be a heavier kind of cloak. Yep, that's that's doable. Back the heavy Jeez. cloak. He actually has a jetpack, and we just haven't commented on it. Yeah. <laughs> Do something like that. What color should the cloak be? Uh, probably the same as yeah, like his belt and. Shoulders, I think. Yeah, that's that's easy. Yeah. The only thing I don't love this yellow. Make it a little. Oh. <laughs> yes. I don't want it to be too close to the pants. Make it a little dark. Yeah, I was gonna say like, you yellow know, as much cool. as the yellow is like a cool concept, probably like making it more brown than yellow would be. Yeah, that's I think what I'm trying to leave. Yeah, more like more like a beigeish color. Be beige, beige. That just looks like an old banana. <laughs> <laughs> that our job here is done. <laughs> Alright, I think that looks a little bit more. Yeah, Crenshaw know. looks a lot more interesting than I thought he did. Yeah, yeah that screams go. Crenshaw to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is the guy you made. This is your guy. Congratulations. I figured, Let's get him killed. Success. I figured this might be a fun exercise so that we actually have a frame of reference for this character that's been with the party for however long. Correct. So now, Correct. He's, now he's a real guy, and now and now I'm gonna borrow spear. that. Now I'm gonna borrow his spear. Yeah. Now spear we can mourn his spear. loss. Yeah, when he inevitably gets killed in action. All right, I think that's a good start. No, I will protect him with my life now. Well, in which case... Now that I know what he looks like. In which case, I think we can now officially start. The recording's been going, so we have the Crenshaw creation process. Um, we had an off-camera slash off-recording discussion about who's going, and essentially the party's been conferring as to who's going to be a part of this investigation. It's about, you know, 7 p.m. before dusk, properly an hour or so before it's time to head out. Um... We'll just say that Marsh has agreed for the sake of getting it done. We'll say that Marsh has agreed to meet you at the docks at 7.30 um, so yeah. that you can sail out uh, and try to intercept it essentially right on time. Uh, so you guys are discussing. Uh, Cagliari obviously is not going to come along because she's not mentally fit. You know, Meteor, do we have a reason for Meteor not coming along or just we don't want him to get killed? Is that it? Is if there he another? falls in the water, oh, we're not yeah. getting him back. That is very true. That is very true. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. So we discussed Calier and Meteor and staying. Kingi is probably going to stay with Meteor and guard Meteor to make sure that he's safe or that nothing happens in the town so that he can sort of keep watch at the docks. And then Crenshaw, Crenshaw will speak up and say, <laughs> now that we have a frame of reference, so where do you want me? Um, we think we should stay here and, uh, help protect, well, do we have all our things here? Uh, yeah, from what I know, the wagon is still outside. I can make sure the horses are all right. Maybe I can even find a place for them to bunk. I believe it's still raining lightly, and if it continues raining through the night, they're going to be soaked. Yeah, after so. what happened last time. Yeah. Last time, I think I'm, it's important that we have people here to guard our things. I believe the same. Well, then what I'll do is I'll try to look for a spot to pull the wagons out on a more secluded area, even if I can just get tree cover nearby or something. Well, there are two wagons, so it might take a bit, but uh, maybe I'll have Kingy and Meteor come help me with the logistics. Right. Right. 
Well, good luck, gentlemen. Uh, Grimshaw, before you leave, um, mm -hmm. you know we value you as a, as a valuable member of our party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, having you here has been wonderful to have someone who shares my roots from Lucine. Uh, we don't know what we're about to expect. And, uh, right. Perhaps... That was perfect. Um, <laughs> we may need some bolstering in our offensive capabilities. Uh, uh, is there anything you could do to uh, help strengthen our offensive capabilities, Crenshaw? Well, most of my contacts are um, not available. Right. In terms right. of what we can do, right. your abilities... They're above average, but I've seen some things. Well, the Wizards of Lucine, if they keep pushing, we are going to need to up the ante. Right. But how, I, how can I bolster? The biggest thing, if you really want my unfiltered advice, your yes. greatest concern right now is not offensive power. You can hold your own, clearly especially if you're not engaging directly. There have been a lot of cases where I assume we were dead, and we're still here. Now, what we need is to not be seen or found. If we are continue, if we are followed, there is a good chance that we are all going to die. No amount of offense will change that. Right. But it could help. So, um... How how would you feel about lending me your spear? Well, I suppose that makes sense. Since you guys don't know what you're going to encounter, have you used a spear before? Can I roll for deception. <laughs> <laughs> Great. This will only end well. Oh yeah, also his ears are like weirdly. He has like two actives. I got a 21 for deception. Absolutely. I have been trained extensively in the art of uh, spearmanship. Well, I probably won't need it as much as you. Um, you but know I've that never used this brand. Well, yeah, this is, this is a casting element. So yes. yes, talk to me about that. Well, I don't exactly know how powerful it is. It's nothing like Miserums, but um, it can cast Magic Missile. It may be able to cast more than that, but that's all we were taught. Interesting. So, if I had to guess, I would assume that you can do more with this, but I haven't seen it. And these things are manufactured, from what I understand, pretty quickly, and my opinion, pretty shoddily. Sometimes the whole casting piece of it. Uh, well, let's just say this: the the spell casting on these is pretty consistent. The actual use as a spear, it's a bit bulky. Whatever they put to make this thing do what it does makes it extremely top heavy compared to most spears. Now, the metal is already, you know, it throws off weight, but just, just feel it. It's dense. Then he hands you the spear. With my eight strength, I uh -huh. sway. Well, the spear is top heavy. First of all, the spear itself is heavy. There's not any wood on this. It is a dark metal shaft with a metal tip and a metal bottom. Now, mm. in the center, the section with blue... That's where a lot of additional weight is. In terms of what that is, it looks like some kind of frosty glass covering. But what is it covering? You can't really see past it. It's clearly enchanted with something, whether it itself is enchanted or it's hiding something in the interior that has a lot more weight to it. Yeah, this thing is bulky. Now, other than that, it operates like a normal spear. So it's nothing special in terms of, of damage, but it can be used, from what you can see, as a normal 
essentially uh, wizard staff. You know what? It's all right. It's fine. Um, Might take some getting you know, used to, but uh, if you're as familiar as you say you are, you should be able to adjust pretty quickly. And then Malachi could not adjust quickly. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I thank you for your willingness to share this. And perhaps another time, this may not be the adventure to try this out on. Well, suit yourself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very well. I'm going to round up the wagons. Kingy says that he will help. Because that is what Kingy does. Although, actually, someone's going to need to babysit Caliari. So, you know what? Never mind. Kingy is going to go here. <laughs> and Redjaw will take Meteor. True heroes of the story. And now, judging by the time, it is probably close to 7.30. Means Marsh is waiting for it. It's Let's get moving. Absolutely, let's go. So they got moving. Right, you exit the bunkhouse and quickly make your way over to... Ugh, the grass is not this green here. It's much more dead. You quickly make your way over to the docks, uh, which are, of course, not a far distance. And eventually you make your way to the end of a pier where you can see Marsh standing next to a fairly small... Looks like a fishing vessel rigged up. You walk forward and he says, I was wondering if you'd show up. Still doing this? Absolutely. Well, the ship I have here isn't much. We're not going to be able to go very fast, but uh, the current plan is to sail out a mile or two and... Uh, Theoretically, we'll just sit there, see if we see anything. If not, we may have to start scanning. Uh, from what I'm remembering, I don't exactly know the positions it's been seen at what time. We might need to head a bit further south, but we'll see. So, how many of you have been on a ship before? Uh, <laughs> silence. <laughs> can I roll for deception? Of course, <laughs> you can always roll for deception. Ah, right us back. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Yay! I've surely seen a boat. I'm going to assume Malachi that definitely Malachi has has yeah. been on. There's no way he hasn't. I don't think Dirk has. I don't think Moon Dude has. Roger definitely has. Like my dude has. <laughs> I rolled a four. He was born like a <laughs> Well, ago. attempt your deception. I've surely seen those things that glide uh, on the ground. You mean the water? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's 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 what I said. Yeah. Great. Well I've I've uh, I've been in a wagon that drove into a lake once and it floated for a little bit. Does that count? Yeah, definitely not. All right. This is where I really need Roger. Nine o'clock. Nick, where are you? I don't want to roll Blake, Roger. All right. Well, Marshall. Add, add 15 minutes to every ETA he gives you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was an estimation. He doesn't have control necessarily over when his family says he's free. He's doing family things. So that is how it'd be. All right, well, Marshall kind of scan around, seeing that no one really reacted positively to being on a boat, except a bold-faced lie. And he looks um, like I, I have. I have. Ah. So, how much of the operation do you understand? Do you know how to work a sail? Rigging? Um, okay. So, I'm torn. I'm torn here, just out of character. Mm -hmm. I'm torn because what kind of rich am I? Like, am I? Oh, daddy has a I daddy has a boat rich, or <laughs> uh, <laughs> or we we take annual cruises rich because I don't know. That's your call. You know what? Lucine is pretty close to a river. We had a boat. Okay. 
So yeah, my father actually taught me how to. Oh, do good. Things. Well, you'll probably be my guy. As uh, you see, we're short-handed. None of the guys wanted to go out for well obvious reasons. So the right. more hands on deck, the better. We're gonna need it. All right. Well, let's get the show on the road. I wonder if that's an expression in medieval times. <laughs> I, no, I have to. Probably, vary. yeah, because they're they're traveling shows. So no, in no way. Show on the road. Okay, there's the map. Oh wait, maybe I thought you said hit the road. Oh no. All right, I gotta like plop everyone down now. Who do we have? Oh, this is gonna be nightmare. Okay, so we got Dirk. What oh, I recognize this boat. No, oh, uh, no, this is a completely different boat that I made in literally three seconds. Really? Uh, yeah. I, it's just the basic thing because your boat is much less important than the other thing that is existing and that all of my time went into. Get we're wrecked. Just gonna, we're just gonna dump our <laughs> men on here. Who am I missing? I'm missing me. Yeah. There. Are you not on here? The You're weeb of weeb. Here. Oh, I gotta add him. This hinge. I think you. <laughs> you know, we're just going dweeby. I don't. I don't... What? Sorry. I've been calling him DW in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> DW, like Arthur. <laughs> I think of that every time I write it. <laughs> that's, that's very funny. That is actually very funny. <laughs> All right. Let me get Marsh on here. Marsh is on. Yeah, all right. Well, Marsh is getting set up near the back where the big funny steering wheel is. Malachi is being instructed to work the rigging. Roger, I presume. Gosh, come on, Nick. Where? Uh, I have Roger. Hey, would this give me proficiency with nautical tools? <laughs> would it? I don't. Uh, sure. Up to you. Just wondering. Why not? You know, why yeah. not? So cool. many tools in D and D are never used. So yeah, I'll give away proficiencies for niche tools. Cool. That makes sense. All right. We are going away. We are sailing. And we are in the water. Things, they are happening. Now, I need to check my notes. Because somewhere said something important. And I don't have it written down. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All of your notes are supposed to be important. They they are. I don't have it written down what day it comes from the north and what day it comes from the south, just so that it's on Tuesday, Thursdays. North, south, oh, yeah. alternating. That was important. Ah, no, that's the people who saw it. This is cringe. I'm pretty sure it came from the north on Tuesday and goes south. Or no, it goes north on Tuesday and goes south on the other day. Let me just write this. There we go. Okay. It doesn't actually matter that much, but it also does because I hate inconsistency. All right. Gentlemen, we are on the waters. Now, it is not the most calm day slash evening. We are approaching twilight. Uh, so it is, in fact, getting darker. It is not good. Oceans. Oh, give me like sailing, sailing sound, sailing ambience. Sleep eight hours. I see his ambience one hour. This is more appropriate. Thank you. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Thank you, Michael Gelfie Studios, for this audio. All right. Sea shanties. Four hours. Yes. We are on the high seas. That guy. I'm subscribed to that guy. He's streaming 24 7. <laughs> That's scary. All right, gentlemen. The ocean is not the calmest. The boat is a little ramshackle, but it, it works. There's tons of fishing equipment everywhere. It's a little bit hard to, you know, get your footing because it's a little bit rocky today. It did stop raining, though. The sky is still somewhat overcast, but off where the sun is setting, there is an opening in the clouds. So there is still light. Um, it's pretty boring for a little bit, and you're trying to remember 
what it is you're looking for exactly. Um, Marsh hasn't really said much outside of barking specific orders for Malachi and Groucher who are <laughs> operating the rigging. So, not exactly a whole lot of conversation going on. Uh, would anyone who's not working the rigging like to make a perception roll? Oh, sure. Of course. I got a 16. Okay. Uh, I got 10. Nat 20, baby. Plus wow. 3. Well, Dirk wins. So, Dirk, you know where you're headed. You're heading, like, do uh, east. Uh, so, what you're scanning for is north and south. So, you just keep alternating between starboard and port, scanning for a while. You know, Dweeby's kind of looking around, and he's got a pretty good eye. He's, like, going in little circles. Um, <laughs> does Moon Dude even do anything? No, Moon Dude is completely checked out. <laughs> Moon Dude is doing nothing. It's the first time he's ever he's been sick. in the water. He's enamored. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably true. Oh, yeah, Nick is in Dragon Speak. Deafened. That's something. Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he did that last time, too, and I don't know why, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but anyway, Jerk is, has been scouting for a while. And, you know, he'll turn. He hasn't looked behind where the, the coast is. You get farther and farther out, and the rocks become less and less in his peripheral vision, and he's just going back and forth, you know. He's 30 here. seconds here, 30 and seconds here. Yep, so Dirk is scouting. Uh, Nick, just to catch you up, we had a discussion. Well, we made Crenshaw. This is what Crenshaw looks like now. Uh, this was a group vote, so now you know. And we're on a <laughs> boat sailing out to find whatever it is we're finding. It's like 7.45 p.m., right at like pre-twilight stages. Marsh is driving the boat, you're working the rigging, and uh, Dirk is scouting and seeing many, many things. So, Dirk, as you're looking, uh, at first, you know, this whole boat thing has taken a bit of getting used to. Usually there's lots to see on the land, the ground, the soil, it's what you're used to. This is foreign. You don't see traces of anything familiar. The waves are, there's just so much happening on the ground. There's so much movement that your eyes are darting around looking at every movement like it's something, but it's just the crashing of, of the waves. It's a very unusual experience, but you feel very alert because you're in such an unfamiliar environment. And after a while, um, you feel like you see what I would describe as an anomaly. There's a, a shadowy thing on the... not quite on the horizon, but it just looks like you can see the waves breaking around it, but the thing itself is more of a consistent form. There's not so much fluidity. So you're wondering, is that a boat? Is that the monster? Is that it? But it's it's pretty far away. And now the direction that it's in, uh, this is where it is, uh, it is north of you. So right now you're actually traveling east, which means north is down. Um, just because of the way that this is um, annotated. Um, so up is actually, yeah, up is actually south. Down is north. Hopeful. Uh, so, <laughs> so yes, things are, things are a little weird. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get this, like, orientation to work. Yeah. You do see, you do see the boat. And it is coming from the south, which is actually above. Good, so it's to the south and not the north? It is to the south, but the south is up, not down. Okay, and it's going north, you said, or...? It looks like it's actually... Yeah, it looks like it's going north. Okay. Well, is it? You're trying to figure it out, and it takes you a bit to process. First of all, it doesn't look like it's facing you. It just looks like a bit of a blob. And it takes you quite a few seconds to figure out whether it's getting closer or going further away. And after a little bit of time, you determine that it is actually going further away. It's going south, and it's already south of you. So you caught it, and you just, you almost missed it. But it's there, if that is what you think it is. 
whatever this thing is. Hey guys, there's some. I see something out there. Out where? To the um. Starboard or port? What? Left or right? Right. Uh, all right. Wait. Mars Am I from me Mars looking at you or from looking at the front of the boat? Forget it. Here, and then he points forward. Uh, I'm I'm pointing at it. And then Marsh looks over and goes, Yeah, that might be it. Little shadow. Look at it. It's like squarish. See that? Um. There? Is everyone looking? I mean, I don't even know. Uh -huh. I'm trying to look, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, you're busy. All right. Marsh says, "Drop the rigging. Drop the rigging. Look at this." And then he Drop. gestures for you all to come over and look over the side. Hey. And now, now we can all see. Uh, the thing is, it is getting further away, so it is still difficult to see. The thing is, it looks. There's two things to note that are unusual. One is that it looks trapezoidal. That looks man-made. There's there's no curvature to it. It's a contraption. However, the wake is not the wake of a boat. The wake looks very, very unusual. It, it doesn't, like... There's no stream where the rudder is. So usually, you know, you can sort of observe the wake. Probably the only people who would be able to pick up on this distinction are Marsh... Maybe Malachi, maybe Roger. Uh, the rest of you no clue. But Marsh will comment and say, Look at the wake. If it has a rudder, that pattern doesn't look normal. Mm -hmm. It's having a funeral. <laughs> has two wakes. I'm That's... currently just trying to keep the eggs down. Okay. <laughs> We're the eight, worst eight party to do this. Marsh, Marsh says, listen, we're off the wheel. Right now, we're drifting. We have to figure out what we're doing. I can get back on and steer us closer towards it. But what do you want to do? I'll tell you what, I'm drifting right now. <laughs> oh, wait, how far from the boat is it, you said? Pretty dang far. Like... Not necessarily a mile, but not exactly at the horizon, but it's not too far from it either. So, estimating it's at least thousands of feet away. Or at least a thousand feet away. And it's, it's going not that slow. It's pretty fast. Um, can we get closer to it? Could we catch up? We'd have to hightail it and hope the winds are in our favor. Whatever gets us to land fastest. <laughs> Might be a while before that, dwarf. <laughs> All right. Our shop's back on and commands Malachi and Groucher to get back to the sails. Roll for oh, me God. something. And what do I even make you roll? Survival. Well, I was actually yeah. looking. I was actually looking up proficiency with like water vehicles. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to add that to your character sheet. Ah, I don't know either. I know. It's not oh. in... Hold up. It's under, uh, uh... Uh, hold up. Give me, like, 35 seconds. Five? Four? Oh, I went to the wrong place. Hold up. I need another five seconds. Ah, uh, it's too much time. <laughs> There's no time. You, you can't can... do that. Wait, how does... It's not loading. Oh. We can just say it's like a survival check if you want. That might just make it easy. Mm-hmm. So let's just do that. You, you, add, you can add it under tools. Got it. Do a survival check for now. Garage Why does John man. have so much armor? He's I'm cracked. He got, dwarven, armor. <laughs> he got dwarven plate in the dungeon, I think, one of the times that Weeby Weeby wasn't with him. Oh, uh, yikes. Uh, yeah, it was cracked. Oh, show my new character model. Uh, not yet, because you aren't 
You haven't changed. Oh, that's that right. Yet. It hasn't even happened. It hasn't happened. <laughs> yeah. And if things don't go well, it might not happen, John. So you uh. gotta, it's like it's contingent. I'm listen, John. I'm hyped. If we if we pull it off, you're gonna get new drip. But gotta get there. He was right. just talking about possibly having made you level six too early and having to figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with you being level six. The thing was, depending on how you succeed, I might reward you a lot and then have it taper off over time. Because as you have already seen, John, the whole thing with the Kuatoa is their belief fades if they don't have consistent affirmation. Oh, we could script a Kuatoa into our party. <laughs> that, that might not help enough. It would do more than nothing. Absolutely. But numbers are what really wins you the game. You'd have to swap them out so yeah. they could. Where's my you know. survival checks? Give me my survival checks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> good old survival check. You don't have you don't have to do it, Brandon, because your character is <laughs> your your character is on the deck about to throw up. <laughs> like, you know, I know, I'm rolling to survive that. Okay, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, Nick. Current check. objective: survive. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, ignore that. We can just take the 22. Uh-oh. Let's just take the 22. Lunch lost. Let's just assume that Malachi and Grouter are struggling on the rigging, but Dirk is able to see clearly what they're trying to pull. And that's easy. Dirk is a strong man. He's able to pull. He just doesn't know what to pull. Uh, so he can yeah, actually... I didn't, I didn't roll. That's fine. We'll Good. just say that it helps. Because that would also okay. be more strength and athletics, which I know that you're good at. So... We'll I think just you just say, my role. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say that it's a struggle. Um, but with the help of Dwerk and potentially Moon Dude, with Malachi and Grodger actually directing what to pull, you guys are able to actually work as a cohesive crew and start moving. Now, fortunately, the winds are blowing south. More southwest, but it's workable. So, at the very least, you're able to make some... Heading. Now, the, the issue is that because they're blowing southwest, you're getting blown closer to the coast. But, so, you have the wind in your favor of traveling south, but without some careful management of the sails, you're going to drift closer and closer to the coast. But, after a bit of time and trying to get under control, you are clearly getting closer to it now. But at this point, you've turned... So now the, the ship turns, and now you're heading primarily south, which means that south is to the left, and the ship is ahead of you. Now, if you would like, as you get closer, they make more perception rolls. As you are approaching it. It's very, very difficult to keep up with it, but we're getting there. So we'll say that you're a thousand feet away right now, whereas you were probably closer to a thousand five hundred, two thousand, or more visible. Yes, additional. Thirteen. So a thirteen from dirt. It's a lot clearer to see that trapezoidal shape now, and it's obviously, obviously man-made. There's no doubt about it. But something about it still looks off. The way that it's moving in the water looks looks biological even though the make looks mechanical or manufactured. And Lunatic Cultist surmises the same thing. Moon Dude looks at it, and you can see that it's clearly man-made, but the movement is very fluid. The wake is not obvious, and it seems to be sort of swaying with the water. It's like swimming. So, 800 feet away. It turns. <laughs> dun dun. 700 feet away. You're getting a lot closer to it now because it looks like it's doing a 180. 600 feet away. Roll for, <laughs> roll for initiative. Boss music starts. There's no music. Oh no! <laughs> this, is, this, is what, this is what I said. This could go any number of ways. So I need the initiative now. So let's pick this up. Uh, let's figure out what we got. Oh, so Malachi has a six. Guys, I have a plan. I think this is the second combat in a row. I've rolled a net one on initiative. Just let me know. 
No, 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 Dodger's got a 17. You rolled a 1, so what are you, what are you at? That's his plan. Eric. Three. Three, okay. You got a 10, Brendan? Uh, I got a 14. You got a 14, okay. John got a 10. Okay. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. For some reason, I have to, like, manually kind of punch. Why are Moon Dude and Kinky mm. here? I literally removed them. What? Now I'm annoyed. I'm using the encounter builder in, like, that's actually in D&D &D Beyond because it's we're doing this. It's much. Why'd better. you remove me? You shouldn't be. It's Kinky and. Oh, you said Moon Dude. You meant Meteor. I probably did. That's probably exactly what happened. Yep. I got York. Anyway, uh, 17. 17. I think I already have that. Back now. I gotta go. My Discord crashed, so. Got it. Wait. Oh, really? <laughs> you he said, said I, I have, have a plan, plan and, and you left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. That kind of was, it was, there was no plan. It was just going to be, I have a plan, but silence. But then comedically, it did crash. <laughs> I could not, that could not have been timed better. All right. So, in order to make my life way easier, I do this. Um, so, currently, the order without potential combat things is Roger, Brendan, I guess I should just say Nick, Brendan, John, John. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, let's go character names. <laughs> Grudger, Dweeby, Moon Dude, Malachi, Dirk. That is the order. Yay. All right. Here's the thing. The ship is now facing you. It's much clearer to see. Concerning note. First, it's to the right of you. So I don't remember if that's port or starboard. He, he didn't do my research. Get pranked. Um, so we're just gonna use we're gonna use baby terms. It's to the right. So what of you. would you have done it's if I right actually knew and said it? Or I anything? have no idea. I would have just assumed that it was on the side that we discussed, and I would have just gone with it. Uh, here, let's look it up. Port and port. starboard. I think port is port right. Is right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Show me the number. Port. Port is right. All right. Boom. There we go. Wait, no. That said the opposite. It said port is left. Nick is cringe. Port is left. No, but port is, like, correct. What do you mean? <laughs> he said oh, port is oh, right. Oh, oh. Port is correct. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I could have planned that out better. Uh, in hindsight, might have messed up a bit. Yeah. But... <laughs> all right, all right. Consider <laughs> porpoises. Okay. So here's the thing. From those of you that can see, which is probably most of you, Malachi and Grudger got some mass in between them. Dirk is going to pick on this the first. <laughs> there are scales on the front of this thing. The It's a little terrifying. Not much is sticking out of the water. So below the trapezoidal structure, there's a little bit sticking out of the water. And it's scaly. Then the trapezoid itself looks like it's made out of some kind of metal. Looks like the same thing that Meteor is made out of, presumably. I don't know how much these characters are familiar with sheet metal. So, we'll just say from your frame of reference, it looks like the same material that Meteor is made out of, but flat. Moon Dude probably thinks it's like stone. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Either way. Very it's weird. Good. Biological and mechanical elements at play. Man-made, but also natural? Question mark? Very concerning. Of note, at the top of the trapezoid... You see, Taco Bell. <laughs> there's not a Taco Bell at the top of the trapezoid. I guess I can just show it now. At the top of the trapezoid. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> yes, it's big, <laughs> and it's it's much further away than this. That is one big Taco Bell. If we measure this, it's 400 feet away. So it's actually 200 feet further than this. It's actually like over here. The front is over here, but it really doesn't matter for our demonstration. There are windows at the top. So, in terms of what you're seeing, there's the main trapezoidal structure. Then there's the top of that. There's a small little bump, and then another bump behind that. And the upper bump has windows. And, Dirk, you're looking through that window, trying to kind of identify what's happening. And it's been six seconds, quote-unquote. So, a round of, quote-unquote, combat has transpired. And... 
you're trying to figure out what this thing is. It's not an upside down ship. Clearly the windows make it obvious that it's upright per se and intentional, but you're still trying to reconcile what's happening on the front where there's the scales peeking out versus the um, shell, shall we say, the tra uh, trapezoidal shell. Then something happens. You hear the sound that you have not heard before, and Dirk sees a splash in the water in front of him at the same time that he hears the sound. It was loud. Two shots, like a more high-pitched version of thunder. For maybe the one of you who's seen a cannon, Roger, like a high-pitched cannon. Hey guys, watch out. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just saw Jurassic Park Dominion and Jeff Jeff Goldblum. That's what he does, and it's it's just been infected my mind. <laughs> It'll just be like, guys, that's not good, and then like Chris Brackett's eating it. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, what? Well, hey guys, watch no. out! <laughs> well, Grudger, would you like to do anything else on your turn? Guys, <laughs> you're up first. All right, that's it. Dweeby weeby. What do you do? I would like to take the dodge action. All right, Grudger um... takes the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> weeby weeby. You are hmm. six hundred feet away. From a hulking mass of something. Yep. I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll real quick if you're okay with that. What are you gonna roll? <laughs> yeah, yep. All right, <laughs> Dweeby Weeby is consuming adult liquids, <laughs> adult alcoholic beverages. The the fee, uh the courage potion. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Liquid courage. Let's All go. All right, Moon Dude. What are we doing? Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Boo Dude just stands there. <laughs> Malachi, what are we doing? Uh, from where we are. Yeah, six hundred feet away. Six hundred. Well, feet. now I gotta get rid of that uh, adult uh, liquid. Gosh. No, it's too far. Everything's too far. Everything is. Uh, cool. Just double down on steering the ship. All right, Malachi doubles down on steering the ship. Which means the only one who has a decision left to make is Dirk. You want to do anything, Dirk? I feel like I should do something because nobody's done anything, but... <laughs> also, how dark is it? Sorry. Um, it was dusk, right? Uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit darker, but it's not completely dark right now. It's like twilighty. Okay, so... Okay, can I retroactively touch something on the boat to give us like some dim light oh yeah very okay. very much very doable actually i might not want to move this because then you'll just be like 400 away, which is what it be. so all right if dirk is just thinking then shall we shall we proceed to the quote-unquote next round yeah Here. fair enough all right <clears throat> nothing happens you're waiting for Another series of those sounds. You heard two. Um, but it appears that all things are quiet. You are moving closer towards it now. And now you're about 400 feet away from the bow of their ship. From bow to bow. 382 feet. And it's getting close. It's much more clear now that the quote-unquote mouth is pouring over to some main deck of the ship. And... The rest appears to be a very, very unusual ship design. One where the main deck is actually almost in the water, and presumably there's a lot more of the ship below the water than it is above. The design, unlike any you've seen. This is true. Is true, especially for the dwarf. All right, Because this is the second boat I've ever seen. Yep. All right, Grudger, what are we doing? I'm about to do something crazy. Yeah? I would like to make... 
Mm-hmm. A like dodge the, action. We will be taking the dodge action. All right, dweeby weeby. Drugs? Yeah, we're in fear. Um, well, how long do you think it takes uh, a dwarf to drink a pint of alcohol? Probably three rounds of combat. <laughs> you got one down, so you only got two more to go. In this kind of situation? <laughs> hmm. If he rolls drugs to drink faster. Well, yeah, I just rolled a, a 21 on drugs. <laughs> that's pretty good. You're getting it down there, if that's a new roll. All right, All right I'll do it again. Yeah, you got to do it again. Oh. Uh, that's not yeah. that much. You got a nod down in the initial chug, but not as much this time. But you're like halfway there. So. All right. Moon dude. Uh -huh. Okay, Dirk. <laughs> All fine. Uh, All well and good. Just for uh, the usual thing, uh, just put the mask on. Of course, of course. Wait, I need to move. Now, this is where it would be useful to have a uh, soldier. Yeah, that I, never I was about to say. <laughs> or if I could like choose to select across multiple layers, but that gets really tough to design. It's pretty crazy. So, all right, here's the thing: you are now closer to it in vertical and horizontal distance. Now it's within 200 feet. You are extremely close, Dirk. You can see a long rod sticking out the front window here. How long are we talking? One, Six inches. One or two feet from what is peeking out of the barred window. It's like a jail cell. The window is is uh, barred. I'm going to lead over the side and try to get a better look. <laughs> All right. Well. Let's uh, do a little, do a little, do a little, do a little. <laughs> You not, only, is now dead. you not only hear the sound of a shot, but you hear something whiz by your ear. Right after the shot is fired, you hear as something whizzes by, and it impacts and leaves a hole in the deck between you and Moon Dude. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Somebody just figure out what's happening. <laughs> so, I think... That is, that is that. I've seen some bad in the seven seas. I well, have a point. It's Roger's turn. Roger. Yeah, no, the plan's not done yet. Okay. Is it a is it a tactical dodge action moment? Yeah. All right, tactical dodge action moment. All right. Uh. In the meantime, Marsh is going to interrupt and say, We're getting a little close. If it steers towards us, we're done. Mm. Okay. What's the plan? We're going to yes. jump on. Let's keep a little distance. <laughs> uh, that's we said two very different things. Conflicting information. Huh? So, um, okay, so the hole that was made in the deck. Tiny. You don't even notice it unless you have okay. extremely okay. high passive perception. Okay. Dirk is the one that knows exactly where it went because he followed the sound. You probably heard the sound of the shot and then the sound mm -hmm. of the wood splitting, but not enough to be able to track where it went. All right. Is anyone doing anything else? we got to figure out what are we doing with the rigging. We have basically two people who are in control of which direction this boat goes. They need to decide what that's going to be. Oh, okay. Groger, where should we direct the boat? Well, two directions have been said. Starboard one or is, port? One is one way. One is, is the opposite direction. So, hmm. Do you want to head towards it? Um, I guess. Alright, starboard it is. 
As you guys begin to turn, Mar says, Well, this is it. We're going down one way or another. <laughs> now the music that? starts. <laughs> Wait. You begin yeah. steering into the ship, preparing to board it. Uh, <laughs> just, just cool with this. What a Chad. How many? How many? Can I? <laughs> He's steering the boat. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. He's um, to go in. He's committed. He's going in. That's what I'm saying. What a Chad. Yeah. The How much taller the is the deck of the ship towers? Not. Not. You're taller than it. Before we get there, can uh, I? Uh, on the can I make another preemptive roll? Oh, absolutely. He's got three guns. So I already did it. As Marsh is steering you closer, in the six seconds going up to this, he says, If you don't fix this, my life is over. I'm either going to die, or the problem's going to be resolved. Good luck, gentlemen. Fair enough. All right. Well, you have decisions to make. Um, first of all, there is a cannon immediately in front of you. Now, none of you know what a cannon is, which is funny. Uh, the cannonball fires with <laughs> advantage because it is below your current position. The ball boom, screeches, you hear the loud explosion, and it tears straight through the lower deck of your ship, puncturing what you only presume is a very serious hole, and now your ship rubs against the other. There is also, or there are also, two windows in the side here um, that are visible to you. Um, two shots ring out. <laughs> um, Dirk, what is your AC? Uh, 18. All right. Another, you can hear the sound again. Hey, wait, well, no, I'm too far away from Dirk, aren't I? Yeah. Like... There's a shot, there was smoke that comes from the window. With the Can stick. we see that? Oh, yes. You, okay. For any of you that are pretty much here, which is basically all of you, I think, Moon Dude, you are like here, so... All of you see this. There is a burst of light, smoke afterwards, and Dirk hears something again whizzing by his head, and then it splinters the wood. In hmm. terms of what's happening, no idea. It's like an explosion. This is very, very unknown territory. You haven't seen anything. Maybe it's a spell. Maybe it's like a, a special wand and it's casting an explosive bolt spell or something. It's crazy. You've seen weird in this. All right. The Western dwarves use this while mining. Uh huh. Roger, you are up. I'm a jumping on. Roger's jumping on. All right. Roll for me in acrobatics or in athletics. Oh, no, bring it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that'll, that'll do it. All right, the boy vaults over, snakes past the window, does a tuck and roll, and then land himself without uh, petering. You get a very clear view of what is inside. There's a man pointing a stick at you through the window. Get away from that window. All right, where are you going? <laughs> We're going to go right. All right. Like there? Yeah. I think that'll probably be close to 30 feet. We have 30. Yeah, you can dash and get there easily. Yeah. All right, that's our plan. All right, Groucher is on board, which means that next up is Weeby Weeby. Uh, what did you get for your drugs? Oh yeah, you chug it. You're done. Okay, can I make a another roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gods are angry or something. Ah, uh, great. Okay, cool. Um. Um. I am going to throw a javelin. 
the loud things. <laughs> loud. So like the window. Yep. All right. Well, I think you can roll with disadvantage because it's what is it? Thirty feet is the normal one, and then half that is because of damage. Fine with me. All right. I can try to verify that. Yeah, uh. Thirty. We got fourteen. Dude, that's not bad. You might have just hit something. Oh my gosh, you did. You threw the javelin through the window, which is difficult to see through the window. All you can really see is the stick pointing out. You hear it hit. It phases through clearly what is flesh, and you hear some scream. But you hit him, and the stick backs out. So no longer is there someone at the uh, window there. Ah. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, there we go. Alright, anything else? Um. Yeah, I I'm just gonna, like, get myself cl Well, we're still moving, right? We're not, like, you are moving. stopped. We're gonna, like, keep sliding, like, almost like we're going past each other, the boats. Yep. Yeah, then I'll just, I'll just stay where I am, then. Oh, we'll uh, just leave. Can I like hide? Uh, yeah. You can just Is there like a? The rail here. Yeah. yeah. That'll that'll be me for now. I also just realized I have to immediately retcon one thing. Cannon did not fire. There's oh. an extremely important detail that I forgot that makes that not a thing. So tactically, tactically, that didn't happen. All the gunshots, okay. however, chip fine. all the gunshots still happen. Gunshots? Yeah. I thought they were boomsticks. They are boomsticks. <laughs> but but the boomstick. ship, the ship, the bottom of the ship is fine. Yes. Okay. I forgot. Like I said, I, I won't give it away, but I forgot an important detail. The okay, cannon, no problem. The cannon did not fire. That part it's I still, was still still cool. there. Um, lunatic cultist moon dude. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go, with Roger. Alright. Oh, acrobatics or athletics? Uh-oh. Oh, five. Five. Oh. Well, you walk over the boat, but it's rocky. You lose your footing and face plant on the ground. Now, luckily, a man with a gun would have been right in front of you, but he got hit by a javelin. So there is <laughs> no one that will be threatening you. Uh, and you are safely on the boat. But that is what a weirdo. Moment without dashing. I mean, you're not you're prone as well, so you could spend the rest of your movement to get up, so you don't have to do that later. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, cool. Um, Malachi. Um, you said what can I see again? Um, you can see stuff. Hold on. Oops, I gotta figure things out. Um, there's a window here. Um, this one isn't barred like the other one, but. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like a porthole cover, but square, basically, and it's open. Not very big. Not very big at all. Uh, right. And then there's the cannon to the left, which you probably have not seen before. So it's just a big metal tube. What do you want to do? Oh, if I... Oh, first I'm going to yell to Marsh. Can you handle the ship by yourself? Maybe. Okay. And then I'm going to attempt to head over there as well. Alright. Oh, acrobatics or athletics? Uh, I'll do a acrobatics. Alright. All right. 17. Not an easy jump with the rocking of the boat. And you and Moon do jump at the same time. But you're able to keep your footing and stick the landing while Moon Dude plants as this chain goes. <laughs> huge sound, but you're able to help him up. And as I said before, thankfully, while there was a man with a gun pointed in your head, there's a javelin in him now. So that is resolved. Uh, Dirk is the last one. Oh wait, was that all my action? Or? Um, you can attack, but your movement. Uh, I guess yeah, you do have additional movement. But so you don't where's the? Are you looking inside here? Yeah. We'll see a man with a javelin in him. It's dark, okay. so it's hard to see anything else. 
Uh, and if you want to know what he looks like, finally, I can reveal my machinations. I have so Goober. many guys. He's wearing Gambison armor, which you recognize. He has a very funny looking hat, and he has a very funny looking spear. What a chud. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna do what I do best. Yep. I'm gonna ray of frost the guy. Alright. Well, let me get to hit. Full of 26 hit? Um, yes. And in fact, I actually have a, a demonstration that I can give as to what happens. Um, okay. So first of all, this is important. You got to go to our, our pose here and get the face. Uh, gonna look confused as there's a javelin in him as well. And then this is where we get to do the funny thing. Funny moment. Uh huh. <laughs> There's eight points of damage. Yeah, that's enough to do this. <laughs> that is the point that I was making. He is God. frozen solid in place. You have now made another popsicle. It seems to be a pretty common occurrence with making people popsicles. All right. Um, so yeah, congratulations. That's what you did to that man. All right. Uh, now it's turn. I'm gonna do a big old run and jump onto the ship. Well, you know what I want. Nat 20. Um, yeah, these, what? these guys are peasants, and... Alright, here's a question. You just rolled a nat 20. Would you like to jump Can I go directly the... through the window? No, it's not big enough. What I'm proposing yeah. <laughs> is the slant on this trapezoid is pretty steep, but if you want to, you can jump Oh no, that is like 40 feet. And gonna, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna like say you could jump to the second level, but it's probably probably too big. How, gotta, how big is the window? The window is not as big as this. This is just to let you know that there is a window there. The window is like less than a foot cube. Damn. So yeah. And it's then a, it's the a gun hole. Exactly. It's the same with the cannons. The cannons have very small little windows that they're sticking out. So there's no way I could get in from the side, no. pretty much. No, you can well, stick the landing. I don't know if I can reward in that twenty any other way. Tragically, I'll just uh, run left as far as I can. Okay. Do you have, don't you have really good movement speed? Or something? No. Or Opposite. Good? I have twenty-five. Oh, okay. So if I was going to run another fifteen, so basically go this way past another window. I'll use an action as well to, to move him full another 25. Okay. So what do you mean? You just dash action. Dash action. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's with this, because it's like 25. Oh. Yeah. Basically, that's not All right. It's, I think, yeah, we are now in um, wacky times. And now I need to figure out a bunch of things. Where'd the other guy go? Let's put there he is. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is all technically secret, but too bad. Um. Anyone even in line of sight? Malachi. Malachi is line of sight. Boom! Well, that is an 18. That is going to hit. Malachi. Ooh. Is Malachi within sound? five feet of me? Yes, he is. Oh, it hits my shield. But I got a gun in my. Shield. It just oh. says range of X. Yeah, I know. That makes it a 24 AC. I was prepared for this. Here's what happens. Uh oh. You, hear... you both get hit. <laughs> no, 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 no. This works. You hear the shot, and this is incredibly valuable. You hear the shot. You see the guys beforehand, all right, and you're able to maneuver the shield, and you see a small, for the first time, a split second, you see something in the air, a tiny little ball 
get magnetized straight to your shield and snap right onto it. And then it goes through the shield. Wow, no! <laughs> but, <laughs> but, it stopped enough of the velocity that when it hits your armor, it chinks off. And it bounces elsewhere. Wow. If you okay. need to... If you want to try to identify what the heck just hit you, you need to take a turn investigating to find where the heck it landed. Okay. Uh, no. But, yes, <laughs> you are safe. But note, keep in mind, the arrow-catching shield is not strong enough. Like, it's still mostly in good condition, but there's a teeny little hole on it now. So, it's usable, but if it continues to get hit, maybe, maybe not. Okay. We right. talking like one inch diameter or are we talking smaller than that? What do you mean? Oh yeah, right. no, way, way smaller. We're talking like centimeters of all. Hmm. It's it's not a like it's a little musket ball. And it's hitting metal, presumably. So it'll make a tiny little puncture hole through it, but not much else. The danger is just if it gets hit, you know, fifty times, the shield kinda of starts to fall apart. But even then, it's not detrimental. Uh Ooh. Okay. I think that's actually it. So we're back to Grodger. Thanks, my dude. Yeah. Grodger. <laughs> oh, actually, there's one more thing I need to do, which is move Marsh. That's actually incredible. Huh, so there's a worse version of this shield, which is a cursed item. <laughs> Alright. Wait! Yeah, you're gonna Spicy to... leaving! He's pulling away, because that's what's happening, which means that if you want to get on, you're going to need to bolt. I thought we were just going to, like, you know, cross yeah. the whole way. Uh, you could, if you communicate that to him. <laughs> Are you just bumping and dipping? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, God. Who's, trying to get to com who can who's communicating right now? Um, technically... I mean, we're at Dweeby Dweeby after Drodger, so we're early okay. in the turn based on this movement. So. Okay, I, I definitely gotta be getting on that ship. Alright, well then, he'll keep it close, and then he'll move on here if this is what you want. Uh, Alright, then we technically still have to go to Drodger first. Up there. Yeah, we can do that. Right. And actually, he will. He won't be as close, so you're still gonna have to dump. But what do you want to do, Nick? I would like to hide. Like to hide. All right, where are you gonna hide? Um, where I am, I'm trying to like break line of sight with like the other people that have seen me so far. Okay. Are you moving up or anywhere? Yeah, or... I'll I'll sneak away. Like up here. Sure, sure. Okay, and then just pressing flat against the slanted pedal, basically. Oh. Yeah. Okay, understood. Anything else? I'm... Um, nope. Alright, Weeby Weeby, if you want to make a jump, now's the time. Um, can I take a second and look at these dudes? Uh, you can. To my left? Okay. Uh... This is what you're working with. Two men. And, and they all, they both have the, uh, those things out? Yep. Pair of rats. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm uh jumping on the boat. Very well. You know what that means? Acrobatics, athletics, either one. All right, that's good. Uh, towards them. Yep. You take a second. Making sure that you have the ability to clear this jump. You can just barely land on the edge, flaring the distance. Now you're preparing to confront them. They seem much less concerned about you and much more concerned about getting on to the other boat. Two of them behind throw rope. It looks like a grappling cable, and they attempt to latch it onto the boat. Of the two hooks, one actually lands. And the guy oh, for the love of God! 
the guy jumps on it and begins swinging down low by the bow and is going to attempt to board the ship. Now he's kind of pulling himself out of the water on the rope. He is very, very seriously struggling to get up, and it appears that his boomstick is on his back. And I see this? Oh yes, you do. Yeah, uh, uh let me... Uh, what's, what's our distance here? 64. So you could throw a jab on the back. Orange. Pretty much. Pull you within 60 easily, so what do you want to do? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Who is Marsh? I'm sorry, like the, the, the driver of the boat. He was a sailor that agreed to take you. He just a uh, sailor. Played cards with him. Yeah. He okay. So he probably can't defend himself. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, that really sucks for him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just know if you leave him to die, then we're dedicated to this plan. We gotta take this thing, because otherwise, we have yeah, no way back. All right, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta throw him no, a fist at I'm fine with that. I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. That's not it. <laughs> Javelin is in the water and gone forever. All right. Um. <laughs> Wait, wait, can I, uh, can I rage? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rage. Uh, does that mean I get to throw another one? <laughs> <laughs> no, next turn. You can do that by going into a frenzy. Wait, that's what I meant. What the hell? Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, no, you already have two attacks per action. You can already throw another one. I don't even need rage to do that. So just start Crazy. Oh, and I'm... you just get a knife? Oh no, that's nice. That was, that was the last one. Okay. And I, uh... I'm within 60 feet? Yeah. But you would have to be within 30 to not have damage. Yeah, but I want to hit him with an axe. Is that how you learn? Oh no, that's 20. <laughs> well, you would still but hit the, him with disadvantage. You can't yeah, the end range is 60. Yes. That's, yeah, so it doesn't that's, make a difference. I just want to hit no. him with an axe. Yep. But that won't hit either. Nah. Yeah, no. Oh, good. All right, axe is gone. Axe is in the water. <laughs> so, hand axe is well, gone. <laughs> good luck, Mark. Javelin, we're at two. <laughs> All right. Now I guess March is now on its own. Yep. We're How far away is the boat? The other boat? Yeah. Your boat. The back is 60 feet away. March is 75 uh -huh. feet away. The okay. distance is just 10 feet. Closest. Uh huh. I'm gonna run towards Dweeby. Towards Dweeby. Dweeby. Ah, okay. Doesn't we only have like 20 feet of movement? Yeah. Okay, so, Ford, <laughs> you gotta dash? I'm not gonna dash. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Come on! One of you 25. I guess I have to. Yeah, what is my movement? Let me double check. Yeah, it's 20. Yeah, I'll, yeah, Jeez. I'll dash. <laughs> you slow ass! <laughs> I know. It's his greatest weakness. He has great AC, but he just can't move. <laughs> He's going <laughs> shook, 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 down the, down the exactly. side of the ship. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, what do we got? Is that all? Testing takes bonus action, right? Which one? And what? What are you trying I to said... cast? Sacred bonus? No, I said dashing. Oh, dashing is a bonus action, yes. But you said okay. casting. Or actually, no, I'm dumb. Dashing, picking all the ropes. Dashing is just a regular action. You have a bonus action. Okay, okay, yes. Well, that's what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> oh no, Sacred Flame is one action. Oh no, yeah, yeah I guess that's that. Alright. Would you let me shoot a crossbow? Um. Oh, that's, that's not a bonus action. What am I saying? Yeah, no. Stupid. Alright. Okay. Right. okay. Gone. He's muted. muted. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot the mute button was on. Uh, <laughs> um, how far away from me is the uh, guy who's trying to board the ship? Oh. 120 feet. That's 120. 
120 feet, you say? Yeah, I mean, if you move 10, he's within 120. So now he's at 120 if you want to do something. But that is a max range. Is that what you want? Can I move up? Oh, wait. That would be a dash, wouldn't it? You dash 60 to get within 60 feet, then you're here. Still 70 feet away, then. But that would be my entire action. It would. You only have a bonus action. <laughs> He's dead! Mark is just dead! What are you doing? What's the plan? <laughs> okay. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um... I am going to... Uh, okay, looking at these ranges. Alright, alright. Alright, I would like to try something tricky. Uh-huh. Can I use message? Mm -hmm. And can I persuasively whisper... Um, let go of the rope! <laughs> okay. Would you like... Do you have mind-altering spells? Well, you know what I, mean? I just want to... I, yes. Do you have them, like Charm Person or something similar? Mm, all I have is Suggestion. So you want to combine Suggestion with Message? No, I just wanna... No, not so much. Not so much. Okay. That's not this through, I promise. Okay. This is more like, I'm whispering to the person, and, I, well, I guess it would be deception. I'm trying not to deceive them into thinking I'm, t like, someone's just, like, telling them to be careful, like, let go of the rope or something. Not, right. like, compelling him. Don't roll so, I guess... Okay. The dude hears the sound of a whisper, starts looking around in a frenzy, uncertain what to do, loses his focus, and the tide sweeps him up, and he loses control of his grappling hook. And now he's in the water. Mm, fantastic. All right. um, Dang. I just lost a hand axe and a javelin to that. Yep. And somebody could have just told him to let go of the rope. <laughs> well, someone scarily whispered in his ear with magic to let go of the rope, and he freaked out and then lost focus and then let go. But yeah, basically. All right, here. Uh, I'm going to continue to run down the edge of the boat. Like this? Are there, are there guns pointing out? Yes. Uh, two guns pointing at you. I mean, out of the windows? Oh. You no, know, I don't think. Yeah, there's one guy. Uh, now that I'm here, I'm gonna rage. Oh boy. Because I'm probably gonna get shot at. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then that, that's my turn. Alright. Well, time to make two rolls. You, you had an 18 AC, right? Yes. Alright. Two shots, nearly at the same time. Right after the sound goes off, you feel a warm, burning sensation. Mm. It is indescribable, and unlike any pain you have ever felt before, blood starts pouring out of a tiny hole, and you feel like a warm, sharp pain. Now, you've been stabbed before. It's similar to the pain of being stabbed, but it feels hot. 13 points of piercing damage. Alright, I'm gonna take a cool... Is it 6 or 7? Uh, 7, I think. What is round like? Alright. All right. Cool. Uh, the other shot whizzes by you, and... You're a little bit more distracted than can't spend time figuring out where I'm going. You just got shot and are feeling pain. Well, the other guy tries to reel his grapple hook in and throw it again to no avail. And now we are at the point where Marsh 
is actually able to get the boat further out of range, which means it's just you guys. Um, so now the threat of them boarding is essentially no more. Uh, I need to go back. is actually it. Uh, we're back to Grodger, I believe. Grodger. Um, we're gonna continue to sneak around the corner. Okay. And then when I get to the other side of the ship and, like, look down, the side, I want to see if there's anybody there. Alright, okay. keep your head over the corner. There are people coming. Two of them. Go for stealth. Lion, wait. Alright. So determine whether you're spotted, keep your head over the corner. Right well, one of them is behind the other one. You doubt he saw you. The other guy doesn't look like he got sight of you. Okay. Set out an ambush. Alright. Is that all? Yep. Alright. Weedy weedy. Well. How far am I? 40 feet. Dang, really? <laughs> Um, can I walk like 15 feet? Yeah. Yeah. How far am I from the first guy? 22 feet. Basically 20 feet. Actually, it's uh, 25. You want a hand axe at him? No, because it's got a range of 20. And yes, I do. Okay. This game sucks. Hey, that does <laughs> suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> They've all been terrible. Yeah. We've been uh, very much pranked. Yeah, that um, doesn't hit. Did we assume it's the alcohol that's acting up? Maybe. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Alright, in that case... um. Oh dang, you said they were 40 feet? Yeah, so you can get up to here. Which means I'm like, 5 feet away? You're 10 feet away, yeah. That makes no sense. If they're 40 feet, I got a walking speed of 35. Oh. Mine. And if they're yeah. 5 feet away, that I means they're in range of my great axe. I forgot that your walking speed is 35. Oh. In which case, yeah, 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 yeah. Yeah. Well, then, uh, you know. I think I know what happens here. Oh, oh okay. that'll, that'll hit. That should have just happened so long ago, though. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Better now. Big damage. Alright. Well, there's the low the roll. You cleave right into his right shoulder blade, and it gets wedged in there. Between, you cut straight through the gamma sun, but it stops a lot of the impact. You still do solid damage, and he is cut up. Um, he tries to go to real back, and you end up getting your sword out of him, but just quite a substantial gash in his shoulder. And you're enraged, which means it's a bonus action. You can attack again, if you want to go into the frenzy. That's exactly what I want to do. Well, do it. That'll hit. That will finish the job. You, I can't say that, but that is very funny. Um, you wet the sword and it gets stuck. He reels back, and then you change your mind. You go clean for the head. 
he's gone. There is no more of this this man. His head plops cleanly into the water and the body vaults over the side. Good. The other guy, I also wisdom saving throw and is frightened, as is the one who drilled the grappling hook. Um, the one who's right next to you still are ten feet away. Some of the blood splatters onto him as the guy's neck comes off and he just squeals and goes, Savages! Yes. Uh, can I, meme. can I, uh, <clears throat> yeah. oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna roll. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, even, even with that, right, even if, even if we have that happen, roll with advantage, you just cut a guy's head off. Do you just want me to roll again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a little more. That, that is better. Um, <laughs> none of them got over that, so they still both failed the wisdom saving throw. Like, no, they're terrified of you. They're absolutely petrified. Um, cool. Moon dude. Oh. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> 40 feet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Two men poke their heads over from what appears to be a top deck. Two shots ring out. One is a 19 to hit, the other is a 23. Uh, no, neither hit, neither but they might hit. damage the shield. So the first one misses, but the second one is going to hit the shield, correct? Yeah. Alright, same thing happens. Um, you have the shield in your, I guess in your, in your left hand. Um, yeah. You, you look up, you hear a shot, and gravitates towards your shield. Now this time, because the back of the shield is facing it, it actually narrowly dodges your hand and goes through the shield the other side. You you keep walking. Oh yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay, um... So I'm still by the window where I froze the man, correct? You are. Uh, can I try to climb in through the window, or is that too small? It's very small. You could do it with a good acrobatics check. Gotta be like a thin little guy, which you probably are. You're not. Um. Mm, actually, let's try this. Um. I'm going to use. Oh, wait. I forgot. Someone else shot at you, there's a guy in the window. Never mind, he got a two. Ah. Uh, should <laughs> <laughs> be fine. Alright, what's up? Um. Okay. I. You said I have to do an acrobatic? Get through the window, yeah. Okay, will I eat any extra of my movement or no? No, you just need to roll well enough, you're gonna get stuck. 19. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. A spry little guy, you vault through the window. Um, you do kind of get wedged for a bit, but then you just use your arms to push yourself off, your legs spring through, and you catch yourself on the wooden floor. As you get up, you're greeted with the visage of the man that you just froze into a popsicle. Rifle still in air. Yeah, I wave at him. Um. <laughs> now, there is another man. Uh, or actually, no, no, these I, no I, since I know, since I know um, I'm behind these boxes, can I roll for stealth? Um, they aren't boxes. Those are the frames for the cannon. So they're not. Oh. They're not super. You can stealth behind them. Yeah. Okay. Do I need to roll or just? Yeah, you have to roll for stealth. Um, okay. This will also be stealth no. going through the window. Okay. Yeah. No. They did. They did not. So okay. They are good. Um, Am I able to grab the weapon out of the guy's hand, the frozen guy? Did make a strength check. To try. Like it's brain. frozen in his hands. It is. He is literally a popsicle. Great. I don't have a single melty spell. Okay. Okay. Alright, so just straight up strength? Yeah. Alright, you've been rolling well tonight. That one failed me now. Nat 20. Minus Jeez. one. Uh, well, with a nat 20, you pull up the rifle and it doesn't just does not budge for a bit. You give it your all. Dude's arms pop off at the elbow. And then you go ahead and throw the hands off. 
you are now wielding this frozen boomstick. Okay. Cool. Right. And I'm just gonna stay hidden where okay. I am. I'm gonna run to the nearest guy. I know where he is. Perfect. Um. Can I try to like? So I, I know I know roughly what the what the what the thunder rods do at this point, right? Yeah. Apparently they just pointed at you and then you start bleeding. So I'm gonna try to grab it and make it so he can't point it at me uh not necessarily try to disarm him but try to like point it away from me and then just sure. like uh i guess i'll just hit him with the with my battle shovel one hand <laughs> yep yep makes sense all right so make for me a athletics to attempt a grapple and he will contest the acrobatics which all right he gets a who's a I, I got a ten. Yeah, he he sees you grabbing for the rifle and pulls it up straight into the air, but that leaves him open for attack with the axe. Excuse me, it's shovel. That's right, uh, nineteen shovel. to hit. <laughs> oh, that'll hit. All right, using the one-handed. There we go. Uh, ten. Ow. Um. Okay. Good news. Slash is or. Slashing? Yes, yeah, slashing. Yeah, yeah. The good news and bad news. The good news is that hits and does damage. Uh, the bad news is. There is something else about the, the guns that I've not described. They have bayonets. There's a small blade on the front, and he just rolled a nat 20. Oh, wait. Damage. 12 damage, because I'm raging. That is true. Anyway. Yes. And from a bayonet, you take 6 piercing damage, so 30. Okay. Wait, hold on. I have advantage on strength checks. Oh, crap. Because of rage. And you have to roll oh, I rolled exactly a 13. Ooh, then that actually is a tie. I don't know how those. Yeah, because he got he got thirteen plus two, didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot. Never mind. Continue to normal six okay, damage. Okay, he said. Okay. Yep. Which is three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I found the I found the rules, and you're supposed to round down. So. Okay. Understood. I didn't really. We're remember. good. I think I was rounding down earlier, but I was rounding up when you guys were doing it, and that didn't make sense. So I round down all the time. All right. Um, yeah, that's actually that. This guy will not move any closer because he is terrified of Weeby. He's going to backpedal 30 feet, pull out his rifle, and attempt to shoot. But in his panic, he only lands and eight, eight, eight fires, but is very, very off target. And the dude is not having a good time. This guy's going to fuck out the sea. That's that. Um sure that I have okay that checks out I think that's actually it I from um... yeah we do have these guys they're going to shoot at dirt after we do pick up super wimps that's a crit um, uh -huh. yeah that's not good actually very much not good. Uh, so, uh, the shot rings out, and you hear, you feel that same burning warm sensation. That's 22, 24 piercing damage. Uh-huh. Now that round yeah. is 12, because you're raging. That's what half. So, oh, look, you had temp HP from your alcohol. Let's just use that. <laughs> oh boy, so, isn't that nice? It just burned through your temp HP. There you go. He didn't even feel it. <laughs> he didn't even feel it. The ale is blocking it out. You feel warm. That's about it. You just keep going. You don't know what happened. I feel warm. <laughs> You're going at it. <laughs> All right. He, he shot me in the leg. I thought I just peed myself. <laughs> All right. Roger is up. Um. I'm just gonna wait for them to, because it kind of looks like they're gonna come around the corner. So I'm gonna wait. Oh yeah. I'll be ready. You can hear them shuffling. It's like they're sprinting across the deck. Um, 
you also hear one of them say, Did we get the boat? And the other one goes, I don't think so. We're gonna die. Alright. Notable. Weeby weeby. That's me! Do I get to to do things again? Yes, you get to kill. Oh, okay, okay. You move up five feet, you're in kill range. Hmm. I don't know, that's a lot of... Huh. Can I just throw this guy overboard? <laughs> yeah, if you uh, succeed on your mad life strike, you can by his acrobatics. Which isn't hard to do because he just rolled up seven. <laughs> just barely. But, uh, <laughs> how exactly would you like to pick him up? Literally, I'll take his collar and yeet it overboard. <laughs> well, that will certainly do it. Um, Winky Spoinky, he is gone. <laughs> and then, uh, after that, can I just, like, move towards the... How far is he? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Well, now he's 10 feet away from you. Oh, man. Yeah. Um... And you're sprinting at him after throwing his friend overboard. <laughs> he has fear in his eyes. Did that count as an attack? The one did, yeah. Throwing him overboard? Um, yeah, because it's a grapple. Okay, Grapple's good. Like attack action, which means you have another attack without even using your bonus action. Right. But I, but I can't move, move any further, right? No, not without dashing, which you already used your action. Okay. Um, you can throw your remaining hand. No, your remaining hand. No, I threw that. I, I have one javelin left. You, have, you got two javelins left, yeah. No, because I, I, th I threw another one. Oh. I, I have one javelin left. One javelin. It's on the boat, though. The other one's on the boat. Right, um, I'm going to throw that one then. Alright. 15. I think that hits. Okay. Does. For seven. All right. Takes quite a bit of damage as the javelin goes through his gambeson. Does not do much to stop it. Wedged in his stomach. Not happy about it. And since I'm in a frenzy, would you let me throw my great axe? <laughs> um. Why not? Oh my god. Do you want me to just roll with disadvantage? I got a 10. <laughs> okay, no. It's gonna whiz by him and just land five feet behind him. But he's gonna like, okay. stick his rifle up and cower in fear, trying to continually backpedal away from you. My goal is just to freak this guy out. Oh, he's freaked out. <laughs> I've literally thrown everything at him. He's frantically, he's frantically <laughs> reloading um, his gun. You actually see him load a little pellet in an attempt to uh, use it. He lands a 19 to hit, though. Oh, jeez. The other way to yeah. make this funnier is now to pull out a kitchen sink. Damage, which is actually 7. So, 7 damage wounds. Alright. Okay. And there you go. Pretty sure it isn't bad. Okay. Um, jerk. Oh, boy. Really? We're on to me again. Um. Mm -hmm. I have no weapons. I got skill. Uh. Did you, oh, you did. I'm dumb. I was looking at. I went dwarf to dwarf. Yeah, that's a good thing, Joe. Alright, run up uh, to Dirk if I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed I was not paying attention, so it's good yeah. that you caught that. <laughs> yeah. Is there blood on the ground at oh. Dirk? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna assume he's hurt. I'm going to. B -b -b was a b you have a bonus action left or an action? You have a bonus After dash. action left. I'm, I'm oh. actually doing pretty okay, so... Yeah, the blood yeah whatever, I is. will... <laughs> Man, take yeah. a shot. Wait, didn't he get shot and there's blood coming out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, on, I, on I, yeah I'm, I'm hurt. I I'm just... About, like, the general area, because there's also blood I'm not... spewed all over the ground. Mm. That's pretty well welcome. Would be. Unless he's, like... Like yelling out, but I'm not gonna stop and yell. <laughs> okay, great. He's chilling. Chilling. All right. 
Malachi. Where the heck is Malachi? Oh, that's right. Malachi's library. What's up? Um. He just moved that person. I mean, yeah, he's running the other side of the ship. Okay. So can you describe to me what I'm seeing in here? Um, tables to your right and chairs. I actually need to hide the, uh, hide the second group. Um, there's a giant metal square in the middle of the room. Cannons lining the walls, crates on the other side, a ladder that appears to lead up to a hatch of some kind, and not a whole lot else. Okay. Um. You say I can hear the person who's running? Uh, yes. Um, make for me a perception roll. Okay. You hear him mutter something under his breath. You don't know what it is. Okay. Um. Question again. Yeah. At this point, do I know that they're cannons, or have they still not gone off? No, they've never gone off. There are cannon okay, so balls. There's giant steel balls next to you, just in a, in a triangular pile, a little square crate. Got a of might I be able to, if I do an investigation check, would I be able to kind of uh, forget it? Okay. Uh, okay. So looking up, uh, can I try to follow the person who is leaving? Uh, yes. Yes, you may. Uh, here's he's just heading this as you have You just want to like walk if he's running. Is he okay? He's essentially running over to the window. I'm running. Yeah. I want. I want to attack him. Oh well, you can do that because he hasn't seen you. Okay. Does that give me advantage of any sort? Or no? I don't know. Does it? I mean, I don't think it does because he knows that there is combat going on. It's not exactly a surprise round. Does he get it? I don't think so. Well, I don't think there's any rules for that because in combat they assume you have 360 degree vision, just to oh. simplify things. Yeah, okay. So there's no rules for not actually being seen. I mean, there's rules for if you're hiding, you get advantage. Yeah, so, I would just do a regular rule. I don't know. I'm going to... Um, you... Oh, it's verbal. Okay. I'm just gonna say, no, 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 no. That's from the old thing. Yeah, I just didn't say it. you don't have that. <laughs> I don't use. I don't use yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I don't I know, know. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna use mind sliver on them. Ow. Um, do I have to make a save or is that an attack? Yes. I don't know. Eleven. I think plus. Is it? Check. I take sales. Hmm. So you're gonna take five points of spike right. damage. Alright, the dude stops in his track and just swings and holds his hands up to his head. As rifles currently on his back, he's confused. And on his next saving throw, you have to subtract 1d4. Alright, good to know. Anything else? Um, can I try to hide again? Um, yeah, you can like hide against the wall or behind this cannon. Cool. Whatever you prefer. I'm trying to James Bond this. Probably won't. Oh, cool. Wall yeah. Wall or cannon? Well, one. Uh, I will slide a hand, but the same, same modifier. Um, do the cannon. All right. Well, don't have a wealth of options here. So, 
So, could, could you zoom out a little bit? Yep. Um... Can I know that that door is back there? No. Alright. Probably a bit too meaty to get through the window, so... <laughs> Probably. You know what? I'm raging. I'll just I'll just use my full run towards the guy. Alright. So I'll get right up next to him, but uh Don't have any don't have any bonus action attacks, so yeah, no, that's all. Alright. We're back to Roger. Um as you recall, the thing you heard last round was the one asked if they got the bullet the guy said I don't think so, we're gonna die. Um you now hear something that's much more concerning. If the ghosts wake up, we're dead. What? They have sprinted straight towards you. They are at the corner. I'm gonna jump out and stab at the guy. Stab at the guy. <laughs> Did he say ghosts? <laughs> well, when you roll for stab. Yeah, I'm that'll, rolling. That'll hit. Oh no. Alright, uh. Hit that button. This button. Uh, yeah, my. If, uh, with dual weapon fighting, you can use your bonus action. Oh, one is. I thought you made two bleeding edge rolls. My bad, I understand. No, no, no. Uh, so. 15 damage. Alright, um, it was a sneak yeah. attack because you weren't seen. That is true. Um, that's this button. I think it's impossible for you to not kill him then. Okay. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him with bleeding edge, slice him in the neck, slice him in the side through the gambus, and you kick him backwards and he is dead. The other guy stops completely in his tracks. Freaks out. Goes, ah, please! And then he just kind of holds holds his rifle up, like his hands up in the air. And he wants to backpedal, but he's out of uh, Alright. Well, I think now it's time to leave us. Well, I guess it's my turn to. You know, politely walk up to uh, the last remaining dude yep. and promptly. What do I get? I get punch kick or headbutt. Um, you know, we'll go with the, a straight up headbutt. <laughs> um. My gosh. Does that hit? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he, he takes five straight damage. up just five. Um, I you did. Is yeah. he the one I hit with the javelin? Yes. <laughs> Who's he stabbing? Weeby, weeby. Okay. I get to make an attack on him with the sentinel feet. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, he does six Ow. piercing oh. damage, which actually is piercing. I just stubbed my toe on my desk, which was just about as much damage. Mm -hmm. uh, which shovel should I use? I'll use the great shovel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. There's no chance. I think I hit. <laughs> yeah. 14 damage. <laughs> yeah, no, he's been shoveled. He's done. He's gone. Bye bye. His grave has been dug. His grave has been dug. Alright. 
Can I? Okay. Uh, uh, I know I've got like a little bit of extra uh, bonus action or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pick up all my weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can start making. Weapons. Which I, I believe should be two javelins, a hand axe, and my great axe. Yep. You can get those all by the end of next turn. One javelin by the end of next the, turn. The guy in the okay. Window, cool. isn't it? Isn't one javelin way over on the right? Yeah, so he's gotta be wrong, but just for simplicity. Because he's gonna have to like end up over here, but more importantly, um the guy that stops um dead in his tracks and has a hard time with mind sliver, he seems to improve a little bit. And then all of a sudden he starts screaming again. And he's holding up his hands on his head and then his neck is moving and unusual contortions and then all of a sudden he turns actually he does see I need to roll for that did you get really high on stealth? yeah okay no no he did not turn towards you got a 19 I just need to check to make sure that it doesn't uh, it doesn't um oh oh never mind that's the wrong okay I just need to make sure I need a one of these. One of these. Um, the dude is struggling. You don't think this is mind slipper. This is something else. He looks like he's having a terrible time. And then all of a sudden he runs straight into the wall. Um, stumbles onto the ground. And in his place, rising up from the floor, is something. What it looks like, not too sure. It looks like a blob of energy. It's spectral. It has a weird, sad face. In fact, let me <laughs> let me draw you a picture of what it looks like. I think a picture would be most beneficial. Great dunk this guy. A weird, sad face. <laughs> uh, we're talking... You see MS Paint? Yes. Okay, right, right, we got one of these. Okay. And then we got one of these. Corgo. Ah. Those are his arms. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is what he looks like. A weird spectral thing. With weird sad face. Love I love that. This is a work of art. This needs to be saved in the campaign chat. It's important. Uh, mm -hmm. Now he right. fights my crab. Now he's got to fight. All right, that's just floating there, and the dude is backed up on the corner, screaming his head off. Um, he scrambles to get his rifle in line and tries to shoot it, and it just misses. He doesn't even he doesn't even go through it. He just straight up misses the shot. Okay, quick quick thing. So now that I've seen him with his rifle, I can assume I know what to, how to use the one that I took once it thawed, right? Maybe. Okay. I mean, you okay. don't exactly know. There's like a little button. In like no, 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 no. But just like I know it can be used in that way. Yes. Something okay, cool. happens where he just pushes a little thingy and then it explodes out the front. Gotcha. So it seems pretty simple to use. Maybe. Um, actually, Moonboot's turn now, though. It's Moonboot's turn, yep. Alright. Um, I'm gonna come up around the corner. Yep. Uh, as you round the corner, uh, then maybe, there are uh, a couple of gamers that are tracking you. You can see two of them up top. Both of them take shots at you. Both of them actually miss. Um, yeah, I'm just too good. You and you're basically the best guy. There is, however, one additional shot at Dirk, but that misses by a lot. And one shot at Dweeby, which also misses by a lot. Four shots go off, and you know, you, you brace for a little bit, but then after you hear the noise, you don't feel any pain. Seems like you guys are good. Anyway, continue, Moon Dude. Um, I mean, it's just them. They killed two guys, right? Uh, yeah. 
That's all. Okay, well, <laughs> we're with them now. Um, now we're at Malachi. All right, so quick Arcana check to see if I recognize what that thing is. Uh-huh. Nope, it's a six. <laughs> um, it's not from this. It ain't right. It's like mm-hmm. some kind of spirit or something. But who knows what the heck it is? There's lots of types. You don't know about that very well. Hmm. Right. All right. What do you want? Uh, to okay. So here's what I would like to attempt. Um, where is? Can you show me thirty feet away from me? That's actually exactly good. Okay. Um, you need the. Okay. Can you put it closer to the window? Like. Maybe we'll just go like here or over here? No, not Malachi, but just like. Alright, I'm going to use. Uh, minor illusion. But I want to make the sound come from 30 feet away. Make a sound come from 30 feet away? Yes. I know illusion can do that, right? Yes. Yeah, sound. I forgot it could do that. That's actually how you. So, what 30 feet away do you want it to come from? I want it to look like it's coming from close to the doorway, that area. Okay, so somewhere over here. Yeah, so it sounds like people are coming in. The range of the sound? Oh yeah, the range of the sound is 30 feet, but operates within a 5 foot cube. So, you can't get it, like you can't get the sound to come strictly from over here but get it to come from up to this far away. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm thinking. If I can make it sound like... I want to make the sound of someone, like, entering. Water. Yes, I, I, yeah. I know, I know exactly. All right, um, you make that sound, uh, and it appears that the ghost's attention is drawn to the noise, and it floats over to him. I'm just going to call it a ghost. Okay. All right. Dirk. I'm gonna stay. Hi- I'm gonna continue to stay hidden. Yep. Um. Now that I can see the door and I'm being shot at, yep. I'm gonna try to get inside. You walk inside and swing open the doors. You see ash with a ladder that leads up with some crates and weird mechanisms on the side. A man cowering against the back wall and a weird dump. Well, you saw it. <laughs> saw that. Uh huh. That's what you're working with. There's no one else that you can see. Um. The the hatch goes down or up? Oh. There was a hatch outside that went down. Oh. Uh, uh. I should have said that. Just... No, that's so good. If it's a hatch, I couldn't see that it goes down anyway. Uh, I'll use my dash to go for the ladder to start going up. Just to yeah. <laughs> ignore everything in the room. Get like almost to the foot of it. Oh, I'm 25, not 35. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, I'm slow ass. Yeah, it's not as slow as John. <laughs> I'm fine. Anyway, there. Um, there is a problem. In that, uh, well, floating up from the uh, other hatch emerges a second specter. Uh, it looks very much like the first. Well, they haven't. It turns its eyes and it looks towards Moon Dude and Baby Dude. Um, I would like to, to both make a wisdom saving throw. Moon Dude and Baby Dude. It's gotta be wisdom. I got a fifteen. Are right, you good? Uh, good? Failure, but not terrible. You are frightened for one minute, which is ten rounds of combat. You cannot voluntarily move closer to that thing. Uh, 
However, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. And that will end the frightening condition. Um, John Moon Dude is immune to the effect for 24 hours. Oh, yeah. That is all. Um, now we get to the other guys who the boys on the roof see the spook thing and they go, Ah! It's back! Yes. And they all attempt to begin shooting it. Um, how many of those even land? Let's be seeing that high. They will be terrible. The one actually land. And the damage it does is. Yeah, that plus that. Seven. Seven damage. Well, it's more than none. All right, we are back to Groucher. Um, Groucher, is this it man's... my turn? Is it? Is it? I don't think so. You ran and got shot at this round. Okay, it's still the same round. Here. It is. I'm just. Okay. okay. I, the reason I made them shoot again is so that I don't have to deal with them this next upcoming round. Got just do more of them. I just want to get that out of the way. Otherwise, I have to wait. Um, we're back to Roger. Uh, there's a man in front of you. He has an exposed neck. However, his arms are in the air. Um, and he is back in the saying, Please, don't kill me. I'm all going to die. What do you mean by that? The ghosts are going to wake up. If we can't get on that boat, we're never getting out of here. That's, that's six seconds. Oh. All right, and that's it. If you if you just want to continue this conversation, yeah. Then you have to wait for the crown. All right, uh, dweeby weeby. Rough frightened. Now you were in the process of getting your weapons. If you would like to continue doing that and get away from it and grab your stuff, you may. So. The only weapon that's not on that end of the boat would be the javelin that I threw at the first guy. So I should have my great axe and hand axe, right? Yeah, you would have already grabbed it. Just saying. Uh, okay. They're just missing the javelin. Um, I think I'd like to. The dudes above me have just shot. At the at the thing. Yeah. They did. Well, I can't fight the ghost because I'm scared of it. Correct. So I'll fight the things fighting the ghost because I'm not scared of them. Okay. Can I vault up the to the second floor? It is very steep and it is pretty tall. It would be a miraculous feat of athleticism to make it to the top. 17. So you're saying there's a chance. That's pretty dang close, but it's not enough. Not miraculous level. You make it about 75% of the way up, but it is completely smooth and completely fat, flat, and it's about 70, you know, 60, 70 degree angle. You and I can't use my, down. like, can't use my axe to, like, help me climb up it? You can try to dig your axe in to give you footing, if you like. Or to just wedge it so that you don't fall back down. Right. I would like to do that. All right. Oh, I guess. Oh. Make an attack roll. Yeah. Why not? Make an attack make roll. A, make an attack roll. That's as good an idea as anything else I could come up with. Uh huh. Oh no. Your that axe does not dig in. It bounces off the metal and you slide back down to the wood. That is all oh. your movement. Great. I'm a. Uh... I'm gonna be really pissed off that I couldn't make it up, yep. and I'm just gonna throw my hand axe. At what? Uh, the closest dude. So, one of the guys up here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's where you pull in the game. Yeah, that's right. Aww. All right, more than nothing. <laughs> this dude gets a hand axe and better than the sword and goes, Ah! Forget it! 
kill the girls so we're all dead. And then another guy, up with the guy that just yelled that. Comes, we're dead anyway. They can't be harmed by our guns. Well, let's do nothing. Well, yeah, that's why I'm attacking you and not it. Yeah, well, some of them have realized that as well. And now they're running to the other end. <laughs> Oh man. Which, technically they can't really do that yet, but we'll just, that's what they will. Alright, um... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's other ghost. This ghost is still trying to figure out what the sound... Wait, I have a question. Okay, what's up? If I'm afraid of the, uh, uh, the one ghost, am I afraid of this ghost too? Nope. Okay. That's, that's... Okay. It would, it would be pretty rough if that were the case. Um, this ghost yeah. actually sees Dirk enter, however. Stares at him. Dirk, make a wizard save. Oh, boy. Uh, Wait, he should get advantage. Uh, he deals with graveyards. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's <laughs> not fair. Okay. That's um, not fair. So that's a failure more than five points. So... That means you're going to be frightened. He dies instantly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how old are you, Dirk? Oh boy. Dirk is 294 years old. I think you mean 295 years old. <laughs> you're okay. right. Tell His birthday that. was recently. No. He has been naturally <laughs> aged. In fact, actually, oh, I'm wrong. It's times 10. My bad. So 200. 84 years old now. Or whatever you were at. You said 285? No. I said 294. 294. Okay, never mind. La, la, la. You are 304 years old. You oh. Nice. 10 years. He doesn't oh. even notice. Probably not. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. This is like the most irrelevant character for it to happen to. Which is hilarious. Anyway, that's it. At the end of your turns, you can make saving throws <laughs> to not be frightened, but you are frightened. How dare you call this man irrelevant? <laughs> no, it's just irrelevant that he's ages 10 years. If Malachi aged 10 years, it would be a little stinky. <laughs> so, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, that's it. Alright, no, dude. Oh, yeah. So that thing's just covering by the hatch? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you know what time it is. Thank um, thanks for being. Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> I thought that I knew what time it was, and I in fact did know it. Hey, D20. Um, crappy D20. 13 plus 1, so no. 13 plus 1. Alright. Uh, 9 radiant damage. 9 radiant damage? Hold on, hold on. What? It doesn't have. What? I thought you might have um, weakness to it. Uh, no, he has a billion resistance. Radiant for so nine damage. Yeah. Nine damage. Single. Wait a minute. Oh no, I was right. No, I'm done. That is all. Alright, okay. Okay, so that his focus is on Dirk right now? Yep. Okay. So that other guard, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do mind sliver on him again. <laughs> you have to make your intelligence oh, okay. save. But subtract 1d4. He succeeds. Uh -huh. I keep sorting my. I need to stop sorting my special. I need to just hit the Alright. Is that all? Um. Uh. What's. Okay. 
I'd be clearly seen if I ran right now. Uh, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna one more time just stay hidden. All right. Well, this guy is gonna scramble away, holding his head in his hands, trying to get around the corner. Everything is happening. Um. All right, Eric. Um. Being scared by ghosts, uh, I guess I'm just gonna freeze on the spot. So there's nothing else I can really do. Um, yeah, that's I guess I guess I'll just uh, remake my save and that's it. All right. Does a 21 do it? Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Woo! Six seconds of paralysis, you overcome your fear, and you go. This. Now, the other goes. Is that wrinkle always there? <laughs> uh, fast. Wow. Very fast. Fast enough to zoink the spike. Um, um, make a charisma saving throw. Uh, me, John, right? Yeah, yeah. Eleven. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very capacitated. Uh. And aware of it. Ah. Uh. All right. He possesses you. And he's like, damn, it's pretty empty in here. Yeah. <laughs> this man was born a month ago. <laughs> uh, what would happen uh, if Moon Dude was to be aged ten years? <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot to. Saving throw. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. Well, that's that. Yeah, would just, would anything happen? Would, would he become 10 years old? <laughs> would he die? Well, I think it would physically age me. Just I guess. Of, there's lots of weird things happening. <laughs> and this is currently a weird thing. Um, alright. Basically, I'm 32. We're actually <laughs> back to Grubby. And I believe the last thing you said was go with some bad little ghosts. That's correct. Uh, so, the, the rifleman speaks up and says, A while ago, things just started getting crazy. The boat grew a mouth, the ghosts showed up. We started dying. We've been yeah. guys stuck out here for seconds. Um, we're still scared, and now the ghost is in the movie. Uh huh. Um, Slash him. In that case, can I do the saving roll up front? Uh, no, you have to do it at the end of your turn. You have to take your turn, then you can do it. Hmm. Can you scroll out? Yeah, I'm guessing Dirk's on the second floor, or is he on inside? He's inside. I'm inside. You lost him. Mm hmm. Moon dude? Are you there? There's the moon puppets. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Um. You're not my puppet, you Hmm. Do I the think he's going to be okay? <laughs> uh, make an arcana check. Arcana. <laughs> I got 13. Is there a better thing to roll? I think that's kind of it. Um, you are 90% sure that he just got possessed. Mm, that would explain it. Um, yeah. Do I know the other ghost is inside? Nope, you don't even know it exists. No, okay, yeah. Well, I can't really do anything then. Nope. Um. And it's the ghost's turn. Uh, if you'd like to make wisdom saving for now, you can. You can is there anything up on the top deck anymore? Um, there aren't people there anymore, except the one guy that has an axe embedded in him and is just kind of looking down. 
I kind of want that back. Can I see if I can get back up there? <laughs> With the miraculous, you don't even have a hand. Why? Right. No, no, yeah, you fall right back down. All right, well, I'll just really do my. Okay. All right, you're no longer scared of John. However, there's another problem. Who do walks up to you, swings his mace. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, suck does it, Mason. Not, does not hit. It's a good thing you sucked, John. <laughs> Mason, it's not going to hit him too much. Wait, can I react to that? Can I hit him? You no. Aw. Oh. oh, you just fucking clobber me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> trying to kill him, man! Yeah. You're making him hard enough to knock the ghost out. Oh, shoot! I didn't hit anything! I, uh, I lose my frenzy then, right? Yes. Uh, you suffer from one level of oh, oh, that's why I do not like that barbarian subclass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we're back to map. Crazy enough, because Moon Dude is not a thing anymore for, for now. Um, he's already gonna, taken his turn, Moon Dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the guy who left. Okay. Yeah. He's apparently pressed his back up against the corner. Well, is he? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him in the back with a ray of frost. He's uh, <laughs> just destroying this poor man. You guys are like right, 21. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that hits. Alright, Malachi has no clue if he's they're in cahoots engaged. with the ghost or not. He's so I mean, no, he doesn't, but he's just merciless. That's another human popsicle. <laughs> Now guy has made two human popsicles. Shatter this one. I mean, he already broke off the arms of the other guy. Uh, it was for exploration purposes. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Alright, anything else? No, um, I'm just gonna, like, prepare myself to yep. out that hatch. Alright, Dirk. Um... You're not scared. I am not scared. Oh, hi, Mod. How <laughs> close is this ghost to me? Probably like 40. I'm gonna use Toll the Dead on it. Ah, it needs to make a wisdom save of 13. Out of 14. That's right. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it do half damage? I, I don't have the proper... I get it through a class feature, so it's not telling me the actual spell rolls here. It's just telling me range and damage. Hold it dead. Uh, it's not half. None. It's none. Well, I'm pretty nice sure right. it is now ghost turn. Ghost going to move 40. Can't go further with that. Dash in. Can't do that. Can't do that. I did that. I can't do that. So it's done. Alright. Um, I'm finally back to ground. Um, going back to the statement. <laughs> We've been stuck out here for weeks. We can't control the boat anymore. It's a monster. Interesting. Please, just help us. Spare us. We needed your boat. Just... <sighs> He's incredibly distraught. Alright. Maybe we Back up against well. the wall. Hmm. Oh man. The one that stayed is the one with my axe, right? Yep. Good. Um. He's mad. Uh, yeah, he missed. <laughs> Do I still have a javelin? I didn't throw the javelin. Yeah, right? You got one. Yeah, well, he can eat it. Ah, uh, 12. <laughs> yeah, that just barely hits. Oh my god. 
for six. Uh, yikes. Um, that's this guy. Oh yeah, this guy's also dead because now I melted. This guy is now mostly dead. Hey, hey, hey. They're not dead. They're just... They're definitely dead. Killing. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's still alive. I know he's a jam for him, but now he's even more pissed and blue all over the place. He's just got a, a pun. An, an, and a javelin in him, and he's still alive, man. Yeah, not, not by much. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well. Um. Gosh, I gotta think of something to do to help Moon, dude. Um. In that case. I. <laughs> how much health does he have? 45? I'm just gonna punch him in the head real hard and try and knock him out. Yeah, um, I rolled <laughs> 25. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that'll hit. What do we got? Uh, it's, it's just five, because it's oh, unarmed. Five. I forgot. Well, you both square in the head. Wait. The mask. He gets hurt. Didn't knock him out or anything? Heck no. <laughs> Darn, I rolled a 25, too. Okay, well. It was a great roll. Um. In that case, can I... He's like right in front of me, right? Yeah, literally. Can I like vault off him to try and get up on the top deck again? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, yes. you need to roll a 20. I got a 21! Okay. I got a 21! Oh my gosh, I was gonna say, you need to roll a 20 or higher to get it finally. I have no faith in you. Alright, you're pissed off. You straight up vault off of this man. Alright. He reels backwards. You then flip around. Oh yeah, I have to move. Right. Um, excuse me. Um, I only go half distance when I get pushed. I'm, I'm kidding. No, it's no. a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, but it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. All right, man. It was a twenty-one. <laughs> and then. Yeah. All right. Get in there. All right. You're up. And then um, back pedals. And I, I get a second action, uh, attack, right? Uh, yeah. He can taste the, the power of my fist as well. <laughs> I got a 19. Got a, a 19? Uh, 19 to hit, to hit, yeah. Well, then he takes five. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. The dude is hanging off by a thread. Oh my god. He's not standing. He's on the ground, like, he's in bleeding a lot. If you leave him there, he will probably just die. Technically not dead as of now. I don't get to, like, take my weapons back from him now, do I? <laughs> not yet. It's uh -huh. hard. Alright. I'll wait. Well, having watched you completely clear the way. The ghost now sprints with Moon Dude. I guess uh, it takes so much effort to get anywhere. And, uh, oh, he's calling me fat. Moon Dude enters <laughs> the door slowly. Dirk finally heads back. <laughs> yeah! Alright. Malika. Um, how far is it to get out of the hat? I mean, like, here, to the next level? Uh, it just takes a while to climb the ladder. So that'll... You can get up by the start of next turn. Okay. Using, like, half of you. So you can just start. Cool. Um... Dirk. Uh, seeing that I have backup now, I'm gonna charge the ghost. Um... Bonus action rage, and oh, yeah. then... Do the old great shovel attack at the ghost. Oh yeah. Are you like I I do not. <laughs> that will not. Wait, 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 I rolled wait, wait, a wait, wait, net wait. one. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say that. Oh. Was super hard to see. How you doing? You get a second attack, one, right? Nope, because I'm level four barbarian, oh, not five. Oh no, that's right. Oh, that's so sad. Oh man. Okay. Uh, in that case. We are, we're back to ground. 
and he's done his little spiel. Why am I only rolling 20s and 1s this session? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's dead. Okay. Uh, I fell asleep. Um, uh, okay, I'm back. Um, so wait, how long have you guys been out here? <laughs> Two weeks at least. Probably longer. Just burned through all of our food. And there's ghosts? Yes, they just showed up. Uh huh. That's it. What's <laughs> all the little combat crutches? He's gathering information that probably none of the other party has, which is actually kind of odd. He's just hearing like screaming and oh, dude, that's clashing. Literally... Alright, Jacob, this is literally the image that I based the ghost on. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. The Lego ghost. <laughs> I, like I looked up Scooby Doo Ghost, and apparently that ghost is in a Scooby Doo Lego set. So, so it showed up in, in Google Images. It's just so funny looking. Okay. That is amazing. Yeah. He's such a sad little guy. <laughs> He's a sad little guy. He's got a sad, weird face. Alright, it's Tweeby Weeby's turn. Oh, yo, and Tweeby Weeby's on fake mode, I feel. Oh. Oh, bad. Um, well, first off, mm -hmm. I'm taking my hand axe and javelin out of this dude. Yeah, that's literally enough to put him over the edges. I figured. And then, uh, can I see the other three? Or are they like... They are inside. So you actually, you don't have access to that area. Basically, here's what it is. This is all you got in front of you. This deck ends with a little tube, a very short tube that's about the height of another bump to a different room that you can't get to. Why not? What's what's there? What do you mean? I mean, it's just wall. Who? That's what you're asking. It's, it's just, then how the hell did they get through? That's a great question. We're about to find out. You can also draw a picture like a, of a side view. That would be great. I will do that. I will. Open I I know I'm just wasting time, but I no, I no, am. No, 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 no. It's not a waste of time. So, this is a side view of the boat, right? So this is the I should actually do. This is the main deck, right? Most of it is underwater. Um, uh huh. So this is the deck that you guys boarded on, and the water level is like literally right. Um, uh huh. The shape that you're on is this trapezoid. All right, now, this is where the first ghost popped up, where you guys got her, and then Dirk went in the doors here. Okay, but in addition to this, there's a separate, smaller trapezoid. Little tube, and this is where you are. There is a hatch here, and you don't know, but Malachi is going on a So, these are the access points. This is the ladder that Malachi is climbing. This is where you are. Like, literally. Oh, and cool. This so this room I... is separate. There's windows on the side, but you can't see them. It's just sheet. But you can climb, like, up it. Uh -huh. the, angle, the angle is steeper than this. Because, you know, on this paint. Kind of gets torn apart. So there is a hatch next to me, though. There is, and it leads down. Well, I, I would figure it would be pretty difficult to lead oh, up. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna see if I can open it. All right. Uh, you open the hatch, and uh, back here. you want to descend the ladder that you see. How far is the drop? Um. Not that. Hmm. That's yeah. I'll just send the ladder. That's dangerous to drop from. I think it's probably more like fifteen feet. If I'm doing the math. That's what. Uh, uh, Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll just. I'm getting down the ladder. That's fine. I will hide this. Climbing down. 
climbing down the ladder on the mid deck. Now, as you're climbing down, you see Dirk near the foot fighting a ghost, hand to hand combat, and then Moon Dude further back. So you're kind of back. Started, you just went too long ago. Um, now it's actually Moon Dude's turn. Moon Dude's 5, 10, 15, 20. And then he's gonna stop. He's gonna, I'm... He's gonna pull out his crossbow. <laughs> he's gonna look at it, and then he's gonna load it. He's gonna go stop his belt. No, well, we're getting there. This guy has a lot to explore, John. Okay, he's just, <laughs> he's just figuring stuff out. He's just a little guy. So <laughs> he takes out the crossbow and then starts loading it, figuring out how it works. Can I warn Dirk? Uh, yeah. Like, I, I know... Reaction. I know he's not himself, so reaction. can I, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, warn him. Uh... Watch out for Moon Dude. <laughs> it was then the crossbow was fired. Nat 20, dealing a total of 12 piercing damage to two, <laughs> which becomes six. Indeed. You never frenzied. Really. What? You never. You never activated a frenzy. Just in rage. I don't. I don't have that. Oh, that's right. That's not even your subclass. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Uh, I think that's it. That's all little guy can do. He's now we're back to Malachi, who is climbing up a ladder. <laughs> okay, you climb up the ladder and are greeted with a room full of soldiers with muskets. Perfect. Okay, now I'll be a top of Oh, so they see me or no? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're climbing up through the hatch, absolutely. Okay. Immediately. Yeah. Um. Oh, hello, yeah. friends. They point their guns at you. They appear to be ghosts, and they're on their way here. So, they're not going to kill us. I propose a, uh, an alliance of sorts. Agreed. Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's six seconds. They lower their guns. All right. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. All right, we're back to ground. <laughs> so, like, where did the ghosts come from, though? Like, I have no idea. Things just started happening to us. First it was the mouth, then it was the ghosts. They get getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Who even are you guys? Uh, we're... That's the end of six seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Weeby, BB. You finished descending the ladder. I will. Um, yeah. Um, well, I see this ghost. I think I, I skipped the ghost's turn. Hold on. The ghost oh, was supposed shoot. to go. Wait, did I skip dirt too? I did. I was gonna say something. I, I just kinda thought this round was going no, no. for a while. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's you and then the ghost. That's why I skipped over. So you and also, Roger, right? Did well, you Roger, go? We just had the conversation. So, oh. That, uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's Dirk's turn. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna try to swing at this ghost again. Uh, 14 to hit. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, uh, 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh, yeah, it's plus 2 of the rage, which goes to... Yeah. And now that ghost has disadvantage on attacking anybody but me. Well, unfortunately, that doesn't matter, because it's going to attack you. Plus 14, does that hit? Uh, no. All right, well, good news. Don't get your soul absorbed. That would be a million billion damage. But now the ghost turn is over, now we go to Groucher, now we go to Dweeby Weeby. So now you just send the left to The ghost just tried to reach out its spooky ghost hand and roll to Dirk. But it missed. Mmm. Okay. I fired and I missed. I missed. I fired and I missed. I fired and I missed. Uh, I'm going to take one step forward and uh, roll to hit. That will do it. 
That's not helpful. Uh, are you sure? I am. Well, you can roll again. Okay. okay. Um, well, then I'll, I'll roll again. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> How's that one? Oh, that's much better. That'll do it. That makes me happy. There you go. There you go. Does it even do damage? It does six damage. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's not like it's nothing. But it is, it's got a billion resistance. Yeah, I expected to phase right through, but my thing activates on attack, not on hit, yeah. so also, I was chill. <laughs> surprisingly, the ghost doesn't have immunity to blushing through the classroom. Just for it. If had immunity, it would be so dangerous. It would be deadly. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, well, that's that ghost's turn. Now it's Moon Dude's turn. Uh, Moon Dude got the crossbow working. That was pretty good. Um, here, could you make a... Uh, not a sacred flame check, a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sacred flame check. <laughs> uh, is dex... Um, can I see this effect? What do you mean? I have advantage on effects that I can see while not blind to deaf and incapacitated. Yeah, yeah. So do I. Cool. Advantage on saving throws against the pack. Let's see. Yeah. Pretty tight. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. And that's not gonna do nothing. So I, I guess we do is done, and that is just gonna kind of look at his hand. <laughs> 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 All right. It'll probably shoot, but then just not do anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, John, your character's aware of all of this. Oh yeah. So you you have full awareness while this goes to all the pilots your body. Murder and turn evil. No. We're back to Malika. Oh, did we all go down? Uh, you can. If that's the plan. Okay. Or is this that special room there? And I just wasn't sure. Uh, yeah. You'll you'll just head down. It'll take a turn to get down the ladder, but. Uh, you can get down there. So now you're here. Now. All right. One of them while going down the ladder says, though, oh, are you sure that we can hurt it? it? Doesn't seem like our bullets do anything. Um. What have you experienced so far? Uh. End of six seconds. <laughs> Okay. So, hold on to that question. Um, What's that? Your turn. Oh. Again? Okay. Yeah, we were moving. I guess, moving I guess, because I got skipped for a while there. Um, gonna do the old, the old, the old classic. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a twenty-three hit. Oh, that'll do it. Classic uh, 16 damage. I like how this guy just got shot by his oh, yeah. friend. Or almost shot. No, he did get shot. <laughs> Alright. Um, is that all? Oh, uh, yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> Alright, well, the good news is it didn't hit you again. I mean, what happens if I spare the dying on the ghost? <laughs> I'll do that. Ooh. Does anything happen? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> God, oh, I, I, don't think do I don't think it'll do anything, but I want to see <laughs> I don't it. think that'll do anything. <laughs> I, I want to read it. To you see touch a living that. creature. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That does literally nothing. <laughs> touch John! <laughs> touch Moon Dude! I mean... Moon Dude's not dead. I mean, it'll stabilize him. <laughs> He's not dead. Yeah, he still has hit points. We are back to grinding. <laughs> oh, what about the, the ghost? Thing oh. said was... uh, that's who they are. Oh, that's right. You said... Um, uh, he, he's kind of, he's hesitant to trust you. I'm going to threaten him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good job, yeah. How are you going to threaten him? I'm like, but I was kind of like relaxed, and now I'm obviously like tensed as if I was going to attack him. Okay, yeah. He immediately goes, the Nation of Steel! Who? The Nation of Steel. Who? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, we loop back. Where? I turn order. Um, corner turn order got so scuffed. It's getting weird because a lot of things are dead, <laughs> but they have not left the initiative. Really 
Oh my eyes are so tired. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna swing. I got 13 to 20. Yeah. For eight. I'm just gonna do it again. I got a 15. Not doing good. What's this bad? Um, Wundu is just gonna. I don't know, just hit him with a mace again. Now that doesn't even do anything. This sucks. Um, all right, the ghost has come to the conclusion that this body is terrible. Um, <laughs> oh, it's <is> awful. It's <laughs> bad. Oh, does he not have the mental capacity Nobody to catch it. Uh, um, spiritual weapon? <laughs> John, could you could you do this for me? Uh oh. What? Say it. This sucks. <laughs> <My dentist broke. laughs> if I have anything that I need you to to read, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right. So the mace did nothing, and he's just standing there. Now. Um, the other ghost is a little panicky because it's pretty low. Um, we're at Malachi though. And this Malachi is taking the goof truth. Are we just going the full 60 or so? Yeah. Uh, uh, but are you going to answer my question now? Oh, what was his question? What have what they observed so far? Yeah, oh. yeah. We tried to shoot it, but it just didn't seem like it was doing much of anything. I think we may have killed one of them, but they just kept showing up. Okay. Cool. And you're from? Nah. Six seconds is up. Okay. Fine. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Um, Malachi joined the enemy. Get him. Right, Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> uh, kill, 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 kill. Kill is gross. <laughs> kill. Uh, kill? Kill. Uh, 15. I don't, I don't hit it. Yeah. Uh, 11. Oh, yeah, 11. Five damage. Right, it's weak. If this hits you, we're in trouble. 11 plus 5, 16 to hit? No. Oh, you have 18 AC? Oh, you do. Yes. Oh, yeah. You're... Good thing you're a tank, because this does so much damage when it hits. All right. Um, that's it. Ghost cannot do anything else except... No. Yeah, the ghost cannot do anything else. That is it. Um, right well, men have already moved. It means we're back. Roger. We just well, said... Shot. Who? Uh, and, uh, how is the guy even gonna answer that? He's just gonna go, You mental primitives know nothing of the world outside. You even left your little island? Wow, he went from yeah. suddenly being very scared to being, like, <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> Alright, if you have no response, then we're just moving right along. Uh, I said, nah. Okay, got it. Um, back to Dweeby Weeby. Finish it off. Yeah. Um, For the love of please. I, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna rest. You know, I'll just, I'll just check <laughs> out. It's so close to being dead. I want to end the combat turn order. <laughs> no, hit it! Come on. Yes, a kill. You need to roll like a 14 or higher. What'd you say? Roll a 14 or higher for damage. I, I just rolled. You roll a 13? <laughs> oh, that's one hit point! <laughs> Alright, fine. Look at the cultist, man. That was his turn. Alright, John. Don't do sir. What's that? Hey, hey, don't kill him. He's chill. Please? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's just six seconds. I want a persuasion <laughs> check from the ghost. <laughs> persuasion check from the ghost? Oh, I got yeah. you. Well, I use his stats, so boom. <laughs> 14. I don't even know what I would... I don't know. Insight? You'd be insight? insight I guess. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Alright, well then that's a no. <laughs> well, Dirk, it's basically your turn. 
The only person to Basically my turn. It's Malachi's turn, but I don't know if Malachi can do much. Might just be easier to have to finish the battle. Go ahead, Doc! Because the rifle has been set up to shoot. Well, um, can I do something real quick then? Yeah. Alright, can I use message um to Dirk? Yeah. And I'm gonna say finish off that thing so that we can uh trap these people next next to me. Alright. Then I shall kill eighteen to hit. Yeah, you don't just roll with two. I, I just almost said five now. Okay. Rolls a one. All right. I, I, not only am I rolling two dice, I have plus five damage, plus two from rage. So. A million billion damage. Ugh. We're finally at peace. The ghost is dead. The there are no left. more ghosts left. None. The three guys. Suddenly. The three guys walk up and go. Oh my <laughs> gosh! You killed it. With. Savage weapons? No, he's possessed! What? He's possessed! One of the ghosts got him! Uh, I so just what? thought he missed really bad with the crossbow. Wait, who said that? Leave me alone. Who's saying that he's possessed? Dweeby, we me. <laughs> Wait, Dweeby, is he actually? Yeah! I punched him! No, well, maybe that, that could just be a temper thing and not necessarily. Oops, I rolled damage just to ignore that. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> fine. Just let me just let me have this. No, man, get get out of him. Uh, let me see if he convinces I've, me. I've never had a body. Inside. Can I? Well, I mean, oh. he can't have his. Like wait. Um, Trevor, his uh, persuasion matched my insight check. Okay. Well. So does that mean I believe him now, or? It's, it's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, because it's 50-50. The role yes. playing is um, in your hands. You can... You're the player. All right. Like, okay, he shot so at Dirk. I'm going to be... He's a ghost. Right. I thought you were... I thought you were killing me. This would be a really... Can I, I roll a punch, be... or, or at least trying to? I don't think he'd come up with this in the heat of the moment. Uh, I, I, I. How do I get a ghost? Are you a ghost, Moon Dude? Yes. Can Are I punch you, Moon Dude? I'm possessing him. I, I'm gonna roll the punch, oh, Moon Dude. You are possessing him. He's weird. I missed. I, I uh. super missed. <laughs> uh, well, Ghost, why won't you come on out? No. Uh, I just I just punched at you, by the way. At who? Uh, Moon Dude. <laughs> and I and I and I super missed. <laughs> Do I have drunk. any holy water left? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so what? When I gave some, my holy hear, water flask to out. Kiggy, did he use it out. all? Speak. So, here's the thing. Uh huh. I just popped into existence. And Everything sucks. Okay. I have no idea who I am. Right. I have a yeah. vague idea of my powers. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. And I want a body. Right. Well, we're saying not this one. Yeah, why don't you then take... Then which one? Take, take one of those guys, and I point out, like, one of the three dudes standing behind Malachi. They back up. They go, whoa, 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 whoa. Can, can you take a dead body? <laughs> yeah, there's like a hundred uh, laying around. We How about a frozen a one? I don't know. Try one you, try? you should try one of the preserved ones. 
I, I, I mean, Deserve. I feel like you wouldn't be able to move if, if that happened. No, no, it's, it's just keeping your body temperature under control. So, whose body can I have? Either one of those guys or one of the dead dudes. I mean, those guys probably aren't going to let you, so I would try a dead, dead guy first. I'm just going to say it. But if it doesn't work, then I'm screwed. That's not my problem. But if you stay in that body, I'm going to punch you again. Yeah, we're, we're going to beat you to death again. Is he going to kill Moon, dude? <laughs> okay. Okay, you, let me think. Let you me remember think. your buddy? You're, you're, I'm going to roll for intimidation. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Do your intimidation. Go ahead. Let me see. <laughs> he already rolled zero. <laughs> I'm yes, gonna I'm hit you. <laughs> I'll hit you. <laughs> All right. Let me type out this response. Hold on. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You can roll a negative two. That's amazing. Listen, man. If you kill me, you kill your friend. So don't. I'm going to take another step forward. Can I roll for intimidation again? I'm going to do it anyways. Can I step forward too? It's and give him so much better. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, roll it again, because Dirk is backing you up. Yo! That's Arcana. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. That's Malachi. Yeah, that's not that's <laughs> I <thought> that was... <laughs> okay, I, I get to roll again? Yeah. Yeah, do it again. Ooh! Woo! That's, that's that's like a real whatever roll. Okay, so um, better. The ghost oh, puts Trevor, his, what's up? Does my Arcana check tell me anything about? Do I recall anything oh, about? No, suffer. Ah. Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> anyway, the ghost puts his hand up to the mass, like he's like he's thinking. Okay, give me a sec. Alright, theoretically, could I dig the ghost out of him? No. no. Yeah, whatever. If you kill your friend, I won't die, so you're a problem. Is that the right inflection? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good job. <laughs> you're doing great, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we'll beat you to death afterwards, like your other buddy. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not that good. I will just run away. I'm faster than you. You're really not. <laughs> and I can float. I can throw things. I have a question. Yeah, if good I luck, dude. Uh -huh. For example, who has to make the save if I do Mind Sliver? Um, Moon Dude. The ghost can't be targeted intended. You're gonna kill Moon Dude. Alright, well, Moon Dude, you've been great. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm stepping forward. I'm getting the shovel out. Uh, okay. <laughs> no way, no. <laughs> <laughs> Moon dude's inner monologue, which cannot be presented. Like, yeah. It is like this. Moon dude is conscious of this happening. It's going, no way, no. But the words aren't coming out. <laughs> I'm just, uh, just going to like try and drive him into a corner just, with Dirk. Just hold on. While this is happening, let's check on Groucher. Because we're out of combat now. So long you guys are advancing. What's happening over here, Nick? Is he asleep again? I may be. Snoring sounds. Aww. He might be asleep slash dead. It's poor bedtime for poor Nick. Maybe. Wait, his mic lit up. Yep. For a second. Paris! <laughs> we don't get a Hi. response. Alright, how about with this? Well, getting close to when we want to wrap up. If we can resolve this moon dude possession situation. If not, we'll just, uh, we'll call it right here. Alright. The moon dude's backing up. And, uh. Can I grab the ghost? <laughs> I 
I, I know that sounds so dumb, but like if I can hit it, surely I can like you know. You would just we can't hit, hit it. Dude, we, right? can, we can hit Moon Dude. Well, no, we hit we hit the other ghost, right? We beat it to death. Oh yeah, Even surely, once surely once, once it comes out, I can like grab it or something, right? Read my lines, John. Read my lines. Oh, sorry, it was all right. Go ahead, kill him, you idiots. I'm gonna punch Moon Dude. I'm gonna hit it with my shovel. <laughs> Oh my well, God. you do not I'm... be able to hit. Because, I mean, he's just going to tank it. No, he's just going to tank it and let you kill him. <laughs> I'm going to punch me, dude. For five. Alright. I did I did nine. I'm not raging anymore because combat damage, ended. damage, nine damage. Great. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast... No, my third level spell slot. <laughs> I'm just going to cast Cure Wounds at the... um. The third Why level. the big one? Because <laughs> I'm. He's not my spell slots. Of you don't I'm... need the big one. Come on. Does he know how to cast spells? Well, he's he's in John's body. Can I counter spell that? You can. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you can. That stops. That stops it. Oh my god. Wait, oh god. no, you should let him heal. No, 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 no. no. no I was, I was just wondering. Him. Listen, we can, when he's <laughs> dead, we can fix that. But we need no, to get this no, no, person no, 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 no. Let him heal. I'm just wondering if I can counter spell like a cure wounds. I wasn't oh. sure. Yeah, you can because it's just a spell. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, uh, there we go. All right, we're back. Okay. Uh, I'm doing another 13. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to punch him again too, so that's, that's... five. How much five and nine, or how much damage am I uh, taking? Right, can I try to convince it to it come out? Should be five and thirteen, yeah, right? Yeah, eighteen. All right. Okay. Eighteen damage. Uh, ghost. <laughs> can we heal him can, again? Ghost, as you can see from my friend's actions, we will not stop. The sooner you get out, the sooner you can find another body. The easier it is for everyone else. Sir, can you speak for me? I. I'm apparently not as intimidating as I thought. You're fighting a losing battle. You're just gonna oh, kill him. Yeah, Awful. we're gonna kill him. Then we're gonna kill you. Then we're gonna fix him. Um, can I just talk to? <laughs> he crosses his arms. <laughs> uh, all right. With the shovel again. <laughs> the goat. Can... <laughs> the goat can stay if he wants. Can I just talk to those oh, random man. three people? Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. <laughs> well, this is happening. Go ahead. Um, so you may have noticed that we boarded your ship, uh -huh. and uh, we took out a number of your people. Yeah. Um, and we also took care of a ghost for you. I feel like that earns some sort of response, or at least you give us some information. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Uh. I don't recognize your clothing. You don't seem to be from anywhere that I've seen before. We're not from here. Where are you from? Land. Other places. No, you know that's not helpful. Listen. We are trying to be very kind. We're not friends, man. And that's privileged information. All right. That's privilege information. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, it seems to me you don't know how to deal with uh, ghosts. Not exactly. All right. Well, perhaps you'll have to deal with one soon. Mm-hmm. What are you implying? Uh, can they, they can hear this, right? The others, the rest of the party? I mean, yeah, but they're beating a man to death with a shovel. <laughs> uh, good, Tweeby. Yeah. These men have volunteered. What? To oh. Host volunteered to what? To host our friend. What you yeah, I'm going to take out my great axe right now. Um, and there. There I'm going to roll Wait. one more time. Alright, roll for intimidation. Okay, okay intimidation. <laughs> no, no, Malachi. Oh, shit. Yeah. You guys are just beating him to death. There's nothing, nothing new there. 
Okay. I'm gonna use up I, all my spell slots. <laughs> he literally is. All right, that's a twenty. Um, fine. What information do you want? I asked, "Who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here?" Don Grimbleson, Nation of Steel, Conquest. Nation of Steel. That's not familiar to me, but you intend conquest of what? Of these waters? Of no, this no. land? Yes. On whose orders? <laughs> what do you like to know? I'm trying very hard not to do this again. Go you're, not making, it's just, you're not making this easy on us at all. We were dead before you showed up. All right, I came here ready to die. Rare All right. All right. I, I can. I can't. Can I just poison Dweeb? Or can I just poison Moon Dude? You can try. It's 25, 25 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah, that well, Like, I can just, you know, make him super duper drunk. I got a liter of alcohol. Are you going to force feed him? <laughs> hey, John. Uh, 12 points of damage, but can it be non lethal? Um. Yeah, that's fine. Just um, to write this down. Eat this out of this. All right. Well, the other two are immediately raising their muskets, shooting you. Uh, uh, both of them uh shield. Hit. Shield. How much does that give you? Five. Um, yes. As a reaction. Uh, yes. That's nineteen. Mm, you only stop one of them. The other one still hits and does a total of 17 piercing damage. The shots okay. go off, dweeby weeby, and dirk your attention is turned to the other guards. Um, the first guy is stabbed. He's also going to attempt to um, shoot, but he does not hit. Um, if we just follow the same turn order that we have now, dweeby weeby would be up first. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so now Akai just got shot. Yikes. Yep. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna take out my great axe. Okay. I'm gonna give uh, one more one more try at intimidating this ghost. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no. Yes. Don't yeah, don't even no. Oh my god. No. <laughs> nope. You got another zero? <laughs> he did. Shut <laughs> up, John! <laughs> got another zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna swing at you with this great axe. Alright, well, this is time. He, is he gonna dodge? This time or... I'm actually going to. Yeah, this time I'm gonna dodge. I'm gonna stop, buddy. It means you have to disappear. Dude! No, yeah, that's not hitting me. Well, I get a second try. It, uh, you do, but it's still with disadvantage. You have to oh. roll that again. Oh. I'm taking the dodge action. 17? Uh, yeah, no, he's got a 22. Nope, not hitting. That's what he's doing. Beefy. Wounds, <laughs> which is 20 healing. So, yeah, no. That is your turn. Now it is Malachi. Um, okay. It seems like they don't have magic. From what I've seen. Alright, so I'm going to use Tasha's Mind Whip at third level and okay. target. Which one? So, which one did I freeze? Bro is this guy, but he's not completely frozen. It's the guy that no. his name is Todd. Okay. So, I'm going to target the two at the back. And I'm going to use Tasha's music. Mind Whip. <laughs> this isn't the one I wanted. I think I want this one. Alright. Oh, so they, um, the two at the back have to make intelligent saving throws. Alright. 13 and a 9. Let me see if there's a to that. No, there's not. 13 and a 9. They both fail. Alright, so what happens? They both get... 3d6 psychic damage oh. at 13 points each Yo. and uh 
and they can't take a reaction until the end of their next turn. And on the next turn, they can only do either a move, an action, or a bonus action. Only one of the three. I'm like too slow to get to the other guys. <laughs> you I mean, guy to death. <laughs> just being completely real here. <laughs> you throwing so long. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's only a 60 foot range. They're pretty far. I mean, I mean, I'm just gonna hit him with my axe. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. No, he's gonna hit I me. Yeah, no. He's also done. Yeah, no. All right. Do the two in the bank have to choose their action, but the one up front doesn't, right? No, he's fine. All right, the one up front is going to attempt to make two bayonet stabs. That's a 14 and a 15 plus four, so that's a 19 and an 18. Okay, so the 19 hit, I guess? Or do I have to do count left? Do I have to do shield first? Press? Um, if you do shield, the 19 will hit. Okay. I'll that's shield, it. Then, so I don't have to take two. So that's only one, which is four piercing damage. Um, the other two choose to take their action, since they've already reloaded their guns with the bonus action last turn, are going to attempt to shoot you. But a 12 plus 4 and a 10, not enough to get through the shield. They cannot reload or move. Which means next turn, not to use a bonus But they, now that that's done, they have their normal turns back, right? They have their normal turns, yeah. Understood. Alright, um, we're back to Weedy Weedy. How far am I from the other dudes? Um, question. 35, 30 feet. You can get a range of time. I'm gonna look at Moon Dude and say this ain't over. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go uh, jog over next to Malachi and he's, Great Axe, the dude gonna, in front of him. He's gonna attempt to grab you. Moon Dude? Yes, you need to make an athletics or an acrobatics turn. You son of a gun! <laughs> Grab him? Yeah. He's not successful. Yeah. Nice try, nerd. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> for, for five. Well, I get a. Oh my god. These rolls are just. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. Well. Um, uh, Malachi's turn. Gosh, it's my turn again. Yep. <laughs> the snore. <laughs> and Nick is dead. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> hey, no, my funny music ended. Funny music again. I can play different funny music. Do it. Okay, so I'm going to just spray across the guy in front of me. But he's not dead, right? Oh, yeah. Non lethal? Yeah. Uh, Alright. Sure. And he gets passed out? Sure. Okay. Alright. And then I get movement, right? Yeah. And I uh, fall back a little bit. 
up towards the top of the square. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. I'm gonna hit this guy with my shovel again. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I no, still he miss. Isn't, he isn't dodging. He's no, well, I, I rolled again anyway. And I, okay. Either one would have missed, so I don't know why I bothered to roll again, but. Well, bonus action, reload, two shots at Malachi, 13 and a 9. If either of those hit. Um, nope, none, neither of them hit. Do I know this dude in front of me is alive? Yeah, but he's like not unconscious. I'm gonna snatch him okay. and drag him back to Moon Dude. Alright. Um Here's your host, asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. The ghost crosses his arms, ponders. He, uh, yeah. he sticks up his finger first, and he's going to uh, heal this guy for... Yeah, we might as well just go. Let's take mode. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good point. I'll go sick mode, heal this guy for full health. Alright, that guy's less than 24 HP. Fucking get him! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait, when the ghost gets in there. Body is finally returned to him, and this guy Blech. literally cannot do anything because he's unconscious and is possessed, but is reawakened now by the fact that he is um, possessed. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Rambleson, possessed version. Boom. Moon Dude is free. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but your turn is over. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I. Alright, so. Jeez. What's the good move? What's the good move? Okay. How far can I go? Okay, I'll move there, and then, are they 30 feet away from me? Zoom again. 45 feet. Ah, dag nabbit. Also not invisible, because it's behind the giant skill object. Uh, yeah, but I know them now, so I'm just gonna use message. Yeah. And say, um... We have you all surrounded. Just come out. This is not worth it for anybody. Mm -hmm. Don't fail me now. Twenty-one. <sighs> all right. They drop their guns on the ground and come out with their hands up. Actually, oh. we don't need this anymore. All right. Okay. What can are you talking about? Can I immediately tie them up? Yeah. Okay, Those please. Thank you. Meanwhile, Todd Grimbleson says, this body feels different. Well, that's because it's a different body. I guess that makes I'm gonna, sense. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wink at Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are evil. Uh -huh. In what way? <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna back up. Why is he backing up? Because he doesn't trust you. Because he's doing that fine. He's in a completely different body, different dimensions and all that. And he's just walking around already. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Yes. So, are we good now? Yeah. I don't know, man. You were, you were a bit of an asshole, but... Well, if you popped into existence one day, and your nature was predefined, what would you do? Challenge it. He says from across the room. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm scared laughs> oh shit! Other side of the room. Well, I'm not supposed to know what to do. I don't have any understanding of the world. How can you speak? I don't know. I just can. And how about you travel? I'm not there. I forgot. You're there. I mean, you're close enough. I think. And how about you walk around with us for a bit? Get to learn the world. I can do that. I don't really have anything else I need to do. I don't but understand. In exchange, in exchange, you cannot take over any of our bodies. Just I, keep this uh, one. Under yeah, yeah. If I have a body, I should be good. All right, Who knows? Well, maybe we'll find you a cooler one. Yeah, maybe. Well, perfect. Uh, good to make your acquaintance, friend. Yeah, he says know. after sprinting across the boat. Holds out an arm. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Oh, this guy says. So this guy said his name was Todd. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm pretty sure he said his name was Todd Grimbleson or something stupid like that. So I guess I'll just go by that. <laughs> That's a stupid name. You should change that name. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what to change it to. What are names usually? The fact that Todd is still aware for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my, oh my god, god, wait. He is. That's kind of evil. We just go adventuring with this guy for a while. We just got Todd hostage. <laughs> oh my god. He can't in his own body. <laughs> Dude, it's fine. I've got a negative one intelligence, dude. I have no idea what's actually happening to poor Todd. I, I think he's a completely different person now. He has no idea what the hell's going on. Yeah. So things are weird. Um. Moonood speaks up. Having experience in the matter. <laughs> what about what about the guy you just possessed? What about him? Oh. Well, when you possessed me, I was just locked away. I could see everything. Yeah. Oh, That's shit, Todd's point. in there. Wait, yeah. you, you were aware for that? Yes. I'm going to take a step away from him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's no, Dirk, Dirk that's doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair to this Todd guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure Todd, he I mean, shot I mean, your other guy, so, you know... It, no offense, Moon Dude, but we were just gonna kill him. You were gonna kill me. Yeah. Hey, wait, right. wait, wait, wait. New Todd. Yeah. You knew how to you knew how to cast spells when you were in Moon Dude's body, right? Yeah. Do you know how to use these these things they were used in to like put holes in us from a distance? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I got shot. Um, hey, Moon Dude. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a slight puncture wound in my abdomen. Oh yeah, you got you shot with a could, bullet. Do you think you could do something about that? Also, I too would like to learn how to use these, and I pull out my frozen musket, which has thawed by now, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, there's moved to any spell slots left. That was so much fun. Like Moon Dude will cast Cure Wounds on you. Oh, man. You heal for 14. Thank you, my good friend. I will really possess Todd. So remember how I said this could go any number of ways? Yeah, this is why I said <laughs> Now you understand. And you know, I think the chaos of this current situation may be where the good stuff is. Huh. Okay. Uh, can I punch Dweeby? <laughs> Yeah. Can I react to that? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> I feel like it's warranted, though. I rolled a 23. Uh, 
Uh, I don't feel like dealing with that, so you guys can just beat each other up on your own. I also got a 23. Yeah, <laughs> one damage. Standing here, I realize. <laughs> you take five. <laughs> I'm just going to push you off and leave. <laughs> After taking five damage. Yeah, so anyway, when I possess We're about to have a ghost teach us how to shoot guns. When I possess someone, it seems like I have a basic understanding of well, sort of what they do. I don't really know how it works, it just... Well, it just does. So then, can we all get proficiency with, um... Muskets? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. Fair enough, I mean... We'll get there when we get there. This whole situation is very, very tenuous. And there are many things that are still unresolved. And Roger is still outside talking to a guy. And there are two popsicles. Anyway. The popsicles are absolutely dead. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Super, super dead. Yeah, you guys also haven't even explored below deck yet. There's lots of, there's lots of things to Oh, there's there are down there. 37 dudes down there sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> they're all they're all having lunch right now, and we're gonna walk yeah. down there with with Todd. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna end the recording. We're at three hours thirty six minutes. It is late. <laughs> so we're just gonna recruit <laughs> new Todd and, and have this like philosophical nightmare walking with us. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> there's it could get very interesting, so I'm gonna say- Honestly, that. considering- But we don't- we've never heard of the Land of Steel, right? No. Alright, I wanna end the recording. Stop talking. Right, okay. Cool.